two. And we are back, everybody. Welcome to part two of Strahd Saturdays, um, where we are diving right in with our second group. If you remember correctly from last time, um, they had just begun to explore the house um, uh, and had made their way to the second floor. Going into the first room that they found, it was a glorious conservatory with stained glass windows. And um, they uh, found some cool looking musical instruments and closed for uh, uh, inch closer for further inspection. And then uh, Mr. Lucius just got caught up in the majesty of music and swept off of his feet into the air with uh, several ghostly beings. He well, is now... I am dancing with just one. Mm -hmm. Well, you are physically dancing with just one. There are several more capering about you. Okay. Um, so, uh, and Lily's dancing with her doll. She didn't fail any checks. She's just dancing because it looks like fun. <laughs> but uh, Lucius, you are currently dancing to otherworldly music that is filling the air. What do the party do? I continue to dance. You, you do, yes. <laughs> that, that is uh, unquestionably what you continue to do. I'm talking mm -hmm. to the rest of the group. Lily um, says, come on, everybody, let's dance. These are chairs next to the windows over here, correct? That is correct. There are chairs lining the walls. Oh, God, he's going to throw a chair at me. <laughs> I'm, very, <laughs> I'm very tempted to throw Here he comes with a chair! Okay. Um, better idea. Can I pick up this chair and try to smash the window? You certainly can try to do that. Go ahead and roll me a strength check because these are very thick stained glass windows. Um, each pane uh, surrounded by a leaded form. Haha, uh... <laughs> nope. Boing! Uh, that's actually exactly what happens. You <laughs> smash the chair against it. One of the legs snaps off and goes flying. The chair ricochets off the very thick window. You don't even crack the glass. And uh, roll me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, come. My worst stat. Uh, why? Nice. You stumble backwards, almost falling on your ass, but managing to catch yourself in time by planting the now three-legged chair down on the ground and setting yourself. Uh how a bunga it is. <laughs> Gallon, are you doing anything? Um. Uh, do I see? I, I want to investigate this. Uh. Um. Organ. All right. The organ appears to be playing itself currently. You step up to the organ, go ahead and roll me an investigation uh, check for me. Paige, what are you doing? I see you stepping into the room. Yeah, uh, Paige is going to step into the room and uh, walk over to this harp we do over here. You're huh? thinking it's a rocking right. horse. 14. Yeah, me too. <laughs> 14. <laughs> and then, uh, on approach to the harp, Paige with just the most platonic emotionless expression ever just sweeps her fingers across and tries to cut all the strings in one fell swoop. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, go ahead and roll me an attack roll against the harp. Okay. Gallon, uh, you investigate the organ. It is a beautifully crafted pipe organ. Looks like it is a family maintained heirloom and it definitely plays lovely music. Um, beautiful in fact and it is currently playing itself does not appear to be doing that from any innate mechanical nature the keys just keep depressing themselves over and over again um, you conclude something you can't see is making it play itself oh damn um, if, if I think there's like an entity there that's invisible you mean um, if by entity you you think that's invisible, you mean possibly one of the ghostly forms swirling currently on the ceiling, sweeping uh, Lucius around. Yeah. Oh, there's multiples of them? So many. 
Oh, damn, okay. You know, yeah. Have you ever um, seen that scene? Anytime. From... <laughs> if you've ever seen that scene from Anastasia, uh, or the haunted you know, mansion, or that, yeah, it's it's like that. It's like that, but less uh -huh. cheery. There's a scene in Anastasia with a ghost. Uh, once hey. upon a December. Yeah, it's not a creepy, mom. creepy ghost. It's kind of like the ghosts of the past are showing what happened. Yes, but it was a happy time, so. It's a memory. Anywho, yeah, lots of ghosts. So, or at I'll least just spectral be like, forms. Excuse me, spirit. See if there's any kind of response. They do not appear to respond to your inquiry. The music goes on, even as Paige cuts through the strings of the harp itself. They, while no longer playing, still seem to somehow be filling the air with the music from the harp itself. <laughs> I mean, we could just leave hey, Lucius so here. Um, Grayson walks. <laughs> Grayson walks over, and kind of just grabs Lucius and tries to drag him out of the room. All right. Can he reach him that high? I need you to make a uh, contested strength check against Lucius. So uh, both of you this? roll. Both of you roll a strength check. The ghosts are just jacked. No, oh. no, nah, nah, don't worry. I've been it's rolling fine. like shit for the past couple of days. You, you got this. I need to start using real dice. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> that is a save, though. Hey, Grayson. How are you with heights? Uh -oh. oh, Grayson. <laughs> oh, God. So the you reach time. up, leaping, grabbing a hold of Lucius's foot to try and drag him back to Earth. And uh, instead, you get swept, uh, clinging currently to Lucius's foot, <laughs> up further towards the steepled ceiling. You are now roughly 10 feet off the ground. Lucius is about 15 feet off the ground. And while you yourself are not dancing, you are clinging to his foot as he is dancing uh, with these lovely ghosts. You are so close to them um, that several of their uh, beautifully shod feet go straight through your head as they dance atop it, uh, leaving a chill running through you, or at least it would if you could feel it. Oh, great. <laughs> Um, Thanks for trying, buddy. Since I'm up here, can I take out my rope and tie it around his foot? Uh, yeah, go right ahead. This okay, is going to end well. <laughs> so well. So I'll, I'll, do I need to roll anything for that? No, you don't need to roll anything for that. You okay. go ahead and uh, tie the rope to his foot. Uh, what are we casting Prestidigitate on, Wil Wilhelmina? Yes, I would like to make a drum. <laughs> you make a drum? <laughs> Thank you. You, you made an like... illusory drum in front of you. Yes. Thank you. I would like to play it. Okie doke. Oh so God. it is an illusion. You haven't made a physical drum, but you can yeah. uh, use prestidigitation again mm. to make it seem like the sound of a drum is filling the room, too. Yes. Are you playing along to the things. music, or are no. you opposing it? Opposing it. Oh, okay. All right. Um, roll me a performance check, Wilhelmina. I can only think of one tune in my mind right now for the drum beat. Na 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 da da na 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 da 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 da. I forgot where the buttons are. What am I doing? Daddy, Performance Daddy, check, so you're going to go... Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Found it? Okay, yep. cool. Oh. Um, well, actually, <laughs> that works out really well. Um, so <laughs> you begin to beat your uh, drum in a very discordant manner. There is no regularity to it at all. It is just noise. Crashing, smashing noise. At first, nothing happens, and then, Paige, you're standing closest to it, so you notice that the harp misses a chord. And Galen, you notice that the pipe organ strikes a discordant key, and several of the specters stop in their mid-prance and peer down, looking around in confusion, 
trying to find the source of the discord, mm. and then they cover their ears as both the harp and the organ begin to erupt in a cacophonous uh, facsimile of music, uh, very akin to what Wilhelmina is beating upon this drum, or rather uh. causing the sound of to circulate throughout the uh, room. And uh, with a wailing scream, all of them vanish. And Lucius and Grayson can roll dexterity checks as they plummet towards the ground. Paige is going to try to catch at uh, least Dragon Boy. Oh, I am boy. rolling horrible today. Soup Boy, no! Dude, you did one better than I did. All right, <laughs> um, if you're trying to catch him, I'd say that's a dexterity save for... Or sorry, dexterity check for you as well, Paige. Actually, yeah, I think you should try Grayson because I'm taller and heavier. <sighs> Isn't he wearing full plate, too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you are successful in catching him. Instead of 2d4 bludgeoning damage, you are each going to take 1d4 of bludgeoning damage each. And, uh, Grayson, you will also take 1d4 of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Okay, okay. And I'll just roll the hey, hey, uh, Who caught me? Was it All of you it? take 2 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Paige, Grayson, and Lucius all take two bludgeoning damage as except for Wilhelmina's uh, bongo drums the entire room goes silent again nice. I'm going to quickly approach the door and I think we should probably leave as soon as possible in case the ghosts get mad out always out <laughs> houses are no good wait did I just somehow draw an arrow oh that's cool we gotta defeat whatever is controlling this thingy there's a the um ability oh, the yeah the ruler thing so you can see like how far if you want to do a spell or something from one point to one point or how far to walk yeah it's the uh if anybody wants to know it's the circle thing underneath you so your arrow in the top corner if you go like four uh the fourth one down it's like a circle and you can then draw and see how Far away. It's the Far circle with the is. ruler inside of it. I'm getting the fuck out of that room because awesome. I don't. I want to stop dancing. Lily's kind of sad because she's like, "That was we were having fun." <sighs> Can't look in the closet or the the door downstairs. Can't play with the puppies. At least Can't the dance. chair didn't try to kill me. Well, uh, very true. Very true. I'm surprised the harp didn't like try to strangle one of our necks. Are we gonna go in here next? To then? investigate upstairs. Should, uh, should we check out the through. other room? Yeah, well, we didn't at least even open it. Yeah, we I haven't checked it. all of downstairs or uh, this floor. You know. Go Lucius, for would it, you then. like to do the honors? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Lily <laughs> <laughs> uh, really opens the door. Really? Okay. Oh no. All right. So the doors here are uh, stained glass, as as well as the ones that were across that you had opened previously. These ones show uh, a beautiful uh, Librum, uh, one in an open position, the other in a shut position. And you open these doors to reveal a very comfortable looking uh, little room. Um, it appears to be a library. There is a gorgeous mahogany desk over here with a tall uh, arm, with a tall high back chair behind it two very plush looking armchairs made of a soft red velvet and a merry fire burning in the hearth as is in many of these rooms and a beautifully intricately woven carpet that has several uh features throughout it that look like they may be uh small moons uh woven in gold different phases of them there are also books from floor to ceiling just tall shelves absolutely stuffed with numerous volumes and a nice little rolling ladder that seems to go from one end of the shelves to the other allowing you to uh, climb up and view some of the novels look at all the books lily oh, wants I... to look at the books this is this is a desk yes yes that is a desk look at the books G grayson will 
Grayson will search the desk. Alright, I will refuse to enter. <laughs> Wilhelmina just stands outside the door, crossing her arms over her chest, shoulder to shoulder with Lucius, who's also afraid to enter. Um, and we've got Paige investigating books, Lily investigating books, Grayson investigating a desk. What are Gallon and Nocturna doing? I'm gonna see if whoever owns this house has any taste and scan the shelves for Volo's Guide to Monsters. All right, that'll be an investigation. <laughs> oh, God. And, uh, Gallon? Um, I will probably go on to investigate the desk as well. So, if All right, that'll I can be an aid, uh, check for you. Or I can aid Gallon if, or Grayson. Or either or. One of us aided the other. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, you could either... Uh, well, he doesn't really need a help check with a 24. Um, but if I he... did not see what he rolled, so I... <laughs> okay. He rolled good. <laughs> a 24. Um, so you can either also investigate the shelves or investigate the desk with him. Uh, the... What's on the desk? I will tell you after you investigate it. <laughs> okay, well, I was... Okay. Uh, natural 20 for a total of a 22. Okie dokie. All right. So, shelves first. S actually, no, desk first. Uh, so, Grayson, um, you're looking through the desk, uh, and Gallon is there with you. Uh, both of you find a oil lantern that has a painted scene on one side of it that looks like a windmill on a rocky ridge. Um, you find an open uh, book that appears to be some sort of accounting book detailing different parcels of uh, land and merchant sales. Um, you find uh, an inkwell uh, filled to the brim with a beautiful scarlet ink, as well as several quills, um, a writing kit consisting of several decorative, highly expensive looking pieces of paper, a seal with a windmill upon it, and a red wax candle. Um, you also find flint and tinder, and um, several uh, thick envelopes of velium. And Grayson, as you are looking away, you notice a little notch in the wood, and you press upon it, and click, out pops a little drawer, and inside of it, you find a large iron key. I'll take the key and pocket it. This might be useful later. Okay. And... Paige, Lily, and Nocturna, you're investigating the bookshelves. Um, mm -hmm. Nocturna, you don't yes. find Volo's Guide to Monsters, um, but you do find Veldressa's Bestiary, which seems to be just a series of very tasteful drawings of uh, well-endowed monsters. Who should enters the room and tries to think that, oh, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> that is not what I expect. <laughs> Paige, uh, as you are searching the bookshelves, you find several tomes uh, uh, that detail uh, history in Barovia. Uh, there are some books that seem to be about alchemy, war, um, philosophy, and poetry. Lily, you found the kids section. There's a lot of books here that seem to be just fairy tales, stories of uh, different legends in the area. Uh, you found this really cool book with this wolf guy on the front of it and, and, and a pale lady and she's hugging his arm. It looks like they're like really good friends. It says it's called A Fur and Fang Volume 2 um, and it, it just looks like a really cool book. Um, and as you reach up and pull it from the shelf, you hear a click as the bookcase kind of pulls outwards from where you are. Are there more books? Is this the hidden kids section? And she's going to pull the, the shelf and try to look. You open the door, a.k.a. the hidden bookcase door, 
and reveal a small dimly lit room that does appear with the uh, basking flames behind you from the well-lit study to have more books in them. These books are covered in a thin layer of dust as though nobody's been in this room for a while. I and, found a secret stash! And uh, there at the very end you see a cool looking chest and it's half open and there appears to be a guy hanging out of it. Oh no. Hey, you just um, gonna, excuse uh, me, are you stuck? Hey, I'm just gonna go see what Lily found, and uh, having taken a few of the books and kind of tucked them into her skirts, which looks awkward until you realize there's probably pockets. Very big, very ragged pockets. A skirt with pockets. I'm just gonna hang back by the Sorry, I don't want to cut you off, go on. Oh, no, no, just pockets for self That's it. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang back by the door here and keep my eye on both sides of the room. For when things inevitably go wrong. And Paige is going to glance at Lily and then glance at the chest and then look back at Lily and, um... I don't believe this one is with us any longer. I know, but look at all the books around. You think they're good? Possibly. Although, given the state of that body, I wouldn't open the chest if I were you. By the way, all of you can hear this conversation <laughs> unless <Okay>. it's whispered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, wait, what's except for maybe, what? except for maybe Will, 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 Wilhelmina nah. and uh, Lucius, since they're outside of the room. Uh, Grayson is gonna head over here and peek around the corner to see where those two went. No, I can probably go. see like the the long raggedy trails of um, Paige's skirt kind of sticking halfway out of the skirt. <laughs> It's, it's almost like a bridal dress trail, but, like, just, just tatters. Oh, boy. Grayson, Grayson's gonna speak up, he's gonna go, Are, are, are you two alright in there? Found a treasure chest full of books and a person who, um, what did you say? He is not with us, but I can see him there, so he has to be with us at some point. He appears to have been eviscerated. He is viscerated. Good job. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, <laughs> uh, Thank you. Uh, Grayson will just kind of step forward and peek in the room. Um, I wouldn't get too close to that chest if I were you, young one. <laughs> but, but there's like books and stuff. I. What if it's a secret? What if it's the best books? I mean, you ha look, look, look. And she pulls the, the book uh, that was like attached to the door and said, this one looked really good and interesting and it opened up the secret passage. So there might be the best books in here. Do you look at the book that she's, uh, she's showing you that she pulled? Of course, I'm showing it to them. <laughs> okay. Uh, Grayson will look at the book that he's being presented. <laughs> you see a, uh, you, you, you see a, uh, very, um, uh, muscular, uh, wolf man, his arm, uh, curling God. around a, a, a beautiful gypsy woman, her, her black flowing hair arcing down her back. They're standing in the middle of a storm. There's a lightning strike behind them, lighting up what looks like a, a, a castle far away on a high cliff. Several bats surround them. The title says, Of Fur and Fang. Mm. Okay. Passion to uh, grace. Grayson's gonna take that and go, This isn't for children, and put it on the top shelf of the bookshelf next to him. 
Meanwhile, Paige is gonna go over to the chest and uh, open it because <gasps> why not? Yay! All right, so you walk right over to the chest and um, you open it, and there is a soft, <sighs> but nothing happens. Cool. And then Paige is gonna you... pull the corpse out of it. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, you do so quite easily and uh, toss this half-desiccated body behind you. It is mostly uh, bones at this point, only a few bits of decayed flesh cling to it. Um, and it appears to have a uh, piece of paper clutched in its left hand. Can Grayson in uh, investigate the corpse to see its cause of death? I'm going to mm -hmm. get the piece of paper and see if he has a secret note. Okie dokie. Um, so that's actually going to be a medicine check for you, oh, since you're trying to uh, trying to see how it died. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought that was like, that's a weird thing to read a note, but okay. I was like, maybe it's a doctor's note. <laughs> you're uh, not going to make it. <laughs> I would like to investigate this room, see if like the body was dragged there to be hidden. Like if there's any kind of like, dried blood stains leading up to the chest. Okie dokie. Uh, you go ahead and roll investigation, Galen. Alright, so, Lily, you try to get the note out from between uh, the clutched fingers, and you manage to do so. It appears to be sealed with a, a red seal um, that has a uh, raven on it, um, and you try to open it without tearing it, and you almost make it, and then you hear shh! And you stop because you're afraid to open it any more than that with a two in investigation uh, with, without, like, destroying it. Uh, Grayson, you're looking the body over. It's pretty, uh, pretty putrefied at this point. It's very hard to tell exactly what killed them. Um, you do find three darts kind of rattling around in the ribcage, though. And um, let's see... Paige, you open up the chest. You said you were looking at the chest, right? Paige? Mm hmm Paige? Hello? Sorry, I had a phone call. Yes, hello. Oh, okay, you good? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, okay. You, you were opening up the chest? Yeah. Alright, so you find inside the chest um, three blank books with beautifully embossed black leather covers um, three scrolls that are rolled up tightly and sealed with a uh, ribbon um, and uh, what looks like a, a, a series of deeds and what looks like a signed will um, there also appears to be uh, three vials of an unknown red liquid and uh, a beautifully carved wooden box that contains a necklace set with a deep blue sapphire. Alrighty, uh, Paige is going to pocket most of these things. Um, she's going to uh, take the will and the deed especially and kind of exit the room to read them over so everybody else can have a chance to explore the room. And then... I'm gonna get the books and the scrolls and 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 uh, the box looks really heavy though but uh, she's just gonna grab everything because she wants to ca she she wants to look at it all. Okay you grab anything that in the box that Paige did not grab and she... Paige did grab the necklace by the way which... Okay. Yeah. Alright. So between the two of you, you loot the box. <laughs> um, and then Galen is looking at the books that are there. No, I was seeing if there's like a blood trail, even if it's oh, like okay. very dried up, but then leading up to the chest, like if it was a body that was hidden. You do not see a blood trail, but with your investigation um, that you kind of go over to the chest to kind of look for signs of like struggle, of, of how, how the body got here. Um, you do notice that there appears to be a mechanical mechanism on the inside of the chest designed to launch some sort of small projectile upon the opening of the chest. Like three darts that are rattling around in the chest? Like three darts <laughs> that might be rattling around in the chest. Okay. 
So, luckily, that wasn't us. And, uh, this poor individual seemed to activate the trap for us, keeping us safe, since this trap doesn't seem to reset itself. Grayson uh, will agree with Galen's uh, findings and uh, will leave the room and ask to spell. And we'll ask uh, who grabbed the letter out of his hand again? Lily grabbed the letter. She tried to open it, but it ripped a little bit, so she stopped. And she okay. went over and is sitting on the rug in front of the fireplace and looking at the scrolls and the book and not going to try to open up that little letter thing because it was ripping. And so she's just going to sit there and look at her stuff that she got. She found. Grace is going to go over to Lily and ask if he can see the letter she took off the skeleton. Sure, here you go. Uh -huh. All right, he will uh, take it and attempt to open it carefully. Oh. Alrighty, go ahead and uh, roll investigation check on the letter. Nocturna, what are you doing? Turning the page in the book. Oh. Uh, Lucius, uh, <laughs> Lu Lu Lucius turns to Wilhelmina and said, Finally, a room that's not trying to kill us. Oh, yeah. no. Yet. <laughs> I don't know. What do you mean? You guys aren't even in here yet. Uh, it, does, it looks like you guys kind of did everything that needs to be done. Uh, I, I'm. Can I look up and be like, so who's been lighting all these fires? Do you think the fireplaces are like haunted too? Probably haunted. It's probably who is making the terrible food. That would be a fair assessment, given what I know of spirits and the types of spirits and what all they can do. There probably are lost souls trapped in here, which seek the comforts of the living. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely ghosts. Alright, and as you guys are having this conversation, Grayson has carefully removed the seal on the letter without uh, tearing it any further, opening it up delicately so that he can look upon it. And um, I'm just going to read this out loud uh, for Grayson and the rest of you. Currently, Grayson will be the only one who knows the contents of the letter, which is written in common. Um, but uh, if he chooses to tell the rest of you, uh, that is up to Grayson. The letter reads as follows. <clears throat> My most pathetic servant. I am not a messiah sent to you by the dark powers of this land. I have not come to lead you on a path to immortality. However many souls you have bled on your hidden altar, however many visitors you have tortured in your dungeon, know that you are not the ones who brought me to this beautiful land. You are but worms writhing in my earth. You say that you are cursed, your fortune spent. You abandoned love for madness, took solace in the bosom of another woman, and sired a stillborn son. Cursed by darkness, of that I have no doubt. Save you from your wretchedness? I think not. I much prefer you as you are. Your dreadlord and master, Strad von Sarvich. Um, Grayson's gonna roll that up and pocket it, and he's going to say, uh, the man who, uh, owned this manor is quite insane and, uh, would trick visitors to their death. And, uh, apparently praised Strad. And Strahd did not like it. And, uh... Yeah, he, he's just gonna shake his head and turn to exit the room. <laughs> that seems disconcerting, considering we are in this house. I, 
I am starting to believe that this house is full of the souls of the dead. <laughs> that this man may have tortured. <laughs> sure, we can find a much more smashable window on the first floor. Uh, no, we're gonna go up, aren't we? Onwards and upwards. Uh, well, I would prefer kind of going up. And you two... the page is gonna inspect the will and the, uh, the... Just and scared. Lily's just trying to figure out what the books are about in the scroll, but if everybody's even, she's just gonna shove them in her bag and look later. Okay. <laughs> uh, Wait, does she have the vials, or does Paige have the vials? I believe Paige took the vials. Okay. Uh, yeah. Of the red liquid. Um, okay, so Lily was looking at the scrolls while Grayson was investigating the leather. So to resolve that, Lily, make an arcana check. Arcana. And this would have happened simultaneously with Grayson reading, reading the, uh, the letter. Okay, you can tell they're magical of some kind, but you don't understand these spells that are written on them. You're not really sure what's going on with these scrolls. They're they're kind of some kind of magic. You're not really sure what, though. I'll ask Herman later. And uh, the books themselves, they are blank. Uh, the books were three blank leather-bound books. So they're basically just journals that haven't been written in yet. I <gasps> I can draw in these. <laughs> um, so the deed uh, page, um, you don't really have to roll an investigation check for that because it's in common. It appears to be a deed to the very house that you're standing in. And um, also there is a, a deed to what looks like a windmill uh, some distance away from here. Uh, roll a history check. Pick the ghost out for not paying us rent. I'm going to say, damn, a child owns this building now. So Paige owns it. I just have books. <laughs> oh, okay. So um, y you are familiar with the uh, with the windmill in, in, the, in, in the, the deed itself. You're familiar with its location. Um, and as far as you know, it's still a fully functioning windmill run by uh, three very nice old ladies. Also, side note, I don't know if we ever mentioned this. Um, Paige never ever said her name. So no. Lily has been calling her Jeannie this whole time because Paige said, I am Evangeline's guardian. And Lily said, that's too long of a name. I'm going to call you Jeannie. So just to let you know, everybody's going to be calling her Jeannie at this point because we don't know Paige's name. Mm -hmm. All so right. just giving you a heads up. And second point, there okay. is still one more door on this floor. If you want to go to the next one, A-OK, -okay, fine. But I just wasn't sure if you guys uh, where's the door? remembered that there was one more it's door. It's right here. here. All right. All right. Just for exploration's sake, I want I will go to the door and I'll actually go into the room this time. Okay. And did Lily <laughs> mention that those head? scrolls are of a magical nature or no? No, everybody know. started leaving. I just shoved them in my bag. I'll look okay. later. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Paige kind of puts the uh, scroll and the will and the deed away, and, uh, uh yeah. Uh, she's going to stand over here while they're investigating the room, and the next thing she's going to investigate is the red liquid and try and figure out what it is. That's kind of her thing. Alrighty, go ahead and uh, roll me an arcana check on those guys. Uh, okay. With advantage, because you're an artificer. Okie dokie. Uh, 13. Uh, so you, uh, you think that the potion might be some form of healing potion. You're not exactly sure what level of strength it is with only a 13, but it, it looks like it m may have beneficial qualities, uh, with helping people who are wounded. Um, Lucius. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you just open the door regular like, or are you being your usual door bashing self? Nah, uh, just normally. Door. No, just normally, normally. He drops kicks the door. <laughs> <laughs> that is what is normal for Lucius. Alrighty, Joking. you go ahead and open the door and you find... What looks like a small bedroom uh, with two uh, tidily made beds uh, with chests at the end of them. Um, both look like they have recently uh, been sat upon. The covers are a bit rumpled. 
Um, but uh, otherwise, the, the room is empty. And there is another small door just to uh, your uh, left as you go into the room, which is open. Um, and it has a uh, closet with a basket of clothes inside of it. I check both chests, starting with the one I'm at. Uh, Gra Grayson will simultaneously check the other chest while Lucius right. is in that one. Yeah, so we're both checking the chest. Okie dokie. So you guys uh, both move to the chests and um, you open it um, at the same time. And as you open it within, you find uh, a bunch of servants' uniforms tidily folded and um, with a, a pair of worn shoes atop uh, the one in Grayson's chest. And Lucius, you find what looks like a pair of women's slippers inside the others uh, a little bit fancier than you would think a servant would own but um who knows maybe they were hand-me-downs from somebody in the house because they do look old but expensive uh, i am now going to check underneath the beds to see if i can find anything all right you get down on your hands and knees and you wiggle your snoot under the bed and you start peering there and all you get is a mouthful of dust <coughs> well, looks like this room is just the service quarters and nothing here. Of note. Um, Grayson, for the heck of it, is actually going to look at his chest a little more deeply. Um, because, as he believes, everyone has a hidden something. Alright, with a 21 investigation... Um, you dig around in the chest and you find mm -hmm. underneath all of the clothing at the very bottom mm -hmm. beneath what looks like a veneer of very thin wood that has been glued into place a small hidden compartment with what looks like a pair of silver cufflinks. Um, Grayson will gladly uh, take the cufflinks and pocket them. <laughs> cufflinks uh, that you pick up uh, seem to have tiny windmills on them and you slip them in your pocket oh. alright guys what we do I'm gonna move to the staircase and look up and um, if I recall this goes to the attic next so, you know that there are at least three floors and possibly an attic. You are currently on the second floor. I'm going to suggest going up to the third floor now, if everyone's uh, satisfied here. Grayson's going to say we never finished investigating the first floor. There were a few rooms we didn't thoroughly check. Um, and according to this letter i have a feeling that there might be a basement as well mm. i would Bad prefer just to continue to go uh up as close to out in my mind yes but this is a haunted house and never not everything is as it seems mm. Well, the one room that we didn't go into, we kind of already checked, and it was just I'm filled with stuffed animals. Pretty sure there were a couple doors we didn't. I don't actually honestly remember. I think there was like one or two doors we didn't open downstairs, and we actually didn't look in that uh, den-looking room with all the stuffed animals. And I know there were like uh, a cabinet or something. I, I'm trying to picture the map in my mind, but I quite don't remember. So, um, you investigated all the rooms that were in available to you except for one door. No, we didn't investigate. We just opened the door to yeah, the animal and, room and then just closed it. Yeah. yeah. You opened the door, looked inside, and then closed it because you saw all the stuffed animals and thought they were going to attack you like the uh, other room did. But, oh, I like the, the, the taxidermy wolves all turned towards the door. <laughs> And that's when we closed the door, and then heard scratching at the door. No, we heard bef behind you in the room with all the food, 
Uh, we heard scratching, and then when you looked, it was completely back to the way it was before we went in the room with food and everything there. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're forgetting. You're, you're, you're mixing up your sessions again, dear. That was a previous session. They're so fucking similar for each it's session. It's all good. <laughs> I, uh, I knew the dining room reset itself in this game. Yeah, because you were very injured and sitting outside the dining room, like, catching your breath. Um, yeah, which apparently I've been restored to full. I yeah, you used your hit die, I think, or something. You did yeah. a short rest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh wait, we did a short rest from last session. No, uh, in last During... session you guys oh, took yeah. a short rest. Also, wow. I am not at full health. Actually, uh, my we didn't take a lies. short rest. My token oh. lies. We are not. I'm not at full health. Nocturna did a spell on Gallon to heal him, okay. and then. Uh, Lily helped uh, stitch yeah. or put a, a bandage on Nocturna's arm. No, it's and okay. Then... I, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My my token was lying. Um, I'm not at full health. Yeah, That's so, unfortunate. Given uh, the fact that out would be on ground level, perhaps we should search from the top down. What's the worst that could happen? Nervously smiles as he takes it one step up the stairs. <laughs> I mean, we only had uh, one room and I believe one door on touchdown stairs. Not so including the basement. Up. If there is a basement, it says there's a basement, but who knows? Maybe the basement's at the top. Or the. That's not what a basement means, but. Um, or the basement could be outside and disconnected from the interior. Well, that's just silly. We could always split up, send a team downstairs, and go upstairs. I Our never recommend. Uh, in <laughs> all, in my, <laughs> in my experience as a monster hunter, it is best to stay in numbers. But also, I never suggest leaving something unturned and say something decides to leave the rooms we haven't checked and come after us. Very well, you seem adamant on backtracking, so backtrack we shall. Lead Yay! Away. And Lily runs down the steps. Because she really wants to know what's in that one door. Meanwhile, <laughs> okay, Paige is just like, it's just, just stay in the dining room. <laughs> just remember, I do not go back. This is a mistake. I'm gonna stay. Oh wait, I'm on the wrong side. Stay on the stairs. Uh, Grayson is going to hesitantly open this door, unless Lucius wants to do it instead. <laughs> Be my guest. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which door are we trying to open? Lucius Chikari is the twenty-third. <laughs> opens the door. <laughs> Just pick him up and use him as a battery ram. <laughs> well, I guess Lily shouldn't throw this door open that she oh. wanted to do. <laughs> Uh, not gonna lie, I'm pretty on edge. I, I think if Lily throws open that door, I will get a little spooked. Mm. In the meantime, I, I uh, open this door as carefully as I can. So you open the door to reveal... <laughs> Lovely. You open uh... the door to reveal a very, uh, very cozy looking room. Um, there are a number of fluffy armchairs in front of a warm fireplace. There's a bottle of brandy on a uh, counter in between them with uh, two glasses already poured. Um, you see a, a very thick bearskin rug on the floor. There's several uh, mounted trophies, an elk a wolf head, and uh, several stuffed wolves in various noble-looking poses around the room, as well as a couple of uh, cupboards here and here that look very decorative, made of mahogany, and um, a table and chairs with uh, what looks like a deck of cards on the table. Lucius go makes his way slowly to the deck of cards. <laughs> um, Grayson is going to go to this other chest over here as he carefully walks past the wolf and the bear rug making sure not to touch them or step on them and what are we yeah press, I was gonna... what are we pressed to digitating wilhelmina 
Yes, I am lighting a candelabra thing uh, because I feel we need fire. <laughs> okay. You uh, look around and you spot a candelabra above the um, above the fireplace, unlit currently because the uh, light from the fireplace and the several uh, oil lamps along the wall seem to be pretty much enough as you would need it to look at look at the room. Uh, but you go and you uh, dip the wicks briefly in the fire, getting them to catch a flame and. Uh, you bring the candelabra over to the room. It's got uh, three tall candles in it. All right. So, uh, Lucius goes and uh, picks up the deck of cards on the table. And Grayson, yes, thank you, rolls investigation. And you find inside this cabinet um, three crossbows, heavy crossbows, um, that appear to be uh, well polished as long as as well as a case of 20 bolts for them. Um, uh, Grayson, I... do I have crossbows? Uh, Grayson already has a crossbow and some bolts, but he will uh, hold them up and be like, anyone need a crossbow? I have a <laughs> light crossbow. I would like a heavy crossbow. Is that heavy or light? It's heavy. They're heavy. Three heavy crossbows. Well, you hand one to Lily, and she goes, It is really heavy. I don't want it. And gives it back. <laughs> nah. Uh, Lucius, you said you wanted one? Yeah, I want a heavy crossbow. Uh, why don't you take this and give yours to Lily? All right, all right. I, I, I go over to the small child, and I, I kind of take out my light crossbow, kind of teach her how to shoot it, and, like, for protect. <laughs> And then I'm like, remember, always be armed. Second Amendment rights. <gasps> and I Thank hand you. him the light crossbow. Thank you. This match is the one I have. I, I chuckle. Now you small child dual wielding crossbows. I, I chuckle at the um, him talking about the always be armed, you know, Second Amendment rights. He's like, oh, those things are just play toys for me. Also, the heavy ones are too cumbersome. The heavy ones are too cumbersome. And I <laughs> lost my accent. Oh, well. <laughs> I would like to open the hallway closet here while everyone else is in the other room. Yes. Lily really wants to know what's in that closet. <laughs> All right. So while the rest of you are over there in that room... You, Nocturna, you reach out and you open the closet door. And, um, hold on one moment. And dies. This is no literal skeletons in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> to reveal an actual closet. Um, you see several uh, cloaks hanging in there. One appears to have fallen oh. on the floor. Um, and there's a couple of hats on a shelf above the cloaks. Um, what kind of hats? This is important. <laughs> one of them is a beautiful looking top hat. Um, the <laughs> other one is a, uh, a bright uh, bonnet with lots of lace around it. Looks like a walking hat. Um, and then you see a straw hat that has a uh, number of uh, flowers uh, stuck in its brim that appear to be uh, preserved in wax. And I, um, I'm gonna take one of the nicer cloaks to replace my previously piss-stained one, as well as the top hat. No, the, the girls in the caravan tried so hard to clean it for you. All right. That's okay. So you the, reach this out. This is the image that I cross thought of when you heard top, I heard top hat in the Discord. <laughs> so you reach out and you grab one of the uh, cloaks, and then you go ahead and make a strength saving throw for me. Oh. Remember this? this from the first time I went into the Doom House. Um, wait, where's that red sun core? <laughs> so as you reach out and grab the cloak, in Barovia, cloak grab you, 
And oh, uh, no. you feel yourself yanked into the closet. There's a loud slamming of a door that the rest of you can hear. And you are all of a sudden engulfed in a swath of fabric as the cloak of smothering curls around you, uh, beginning the process. Um, and you, 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 uh, you, you, you are currently uh, wrapped in, in a warm, comforting, cloaky embrace. I would like to, to try to open the door to the closet. Okie doke. It's right over here. Wolf man? You grab the handle and you yank on it and you find it to be locked. I Who think has Wolf a key? man locked in the closet. Who has the oh. key? I knew it. Grayson will run <sighs> on over and attempt to pick said lock. Okay. It, can I um attempt to cast or um you are currently uh being smothered <laughs> so you are unable to uh form somatic components uh gotcha. y you are unable, unable to do that you can uh make another uh strength save in a minute or two here um I'll let you know when you can make the next one uh with a nine you stick your uh, thieves tools in the lock and you hear a ominous click clacking sound and you pull back your pick and it's a little bit shorter than it was before hmm. Lucius tells everyone to get out of the way. He's gonna break the door down. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Grayson steps out of the way. <laughs> All right, yeah, Lucius, we, we... go ahead and roll a strength check on the door. All right. I'm or rather, roll... no, roll an attack against the door. That... Lucius, right. I choose you. Everyone's <laughs> <laughs> right, like it. All right. So wait, so not strength check, just a normal attack. Yep. Everything I touch wants to kill me in this house. <laughs> Alright, you need one second. It's been a while since I just attacked. I think. forget how to do that. Well, for this one, since you're ramming it, you're going to roll a d20, add your strength and yes, your strength and your uh, proficiency bonus to it. Uh, Sorry, your uh, strength modifier and your proficiency bonus. I just give me one question. One second, I'm trying to figure out where to... Yeah, yeah, so open, open, yeah, your page works, oh wait, wait, so, um, open up your, open up your character sheet, uh-huh, uh, and then proficiency bonus will be above saving throws, right below inspiration, uh, right oh, yeah. below your name, so you take that, add it to your d20 roll, and then your strength bonus is gonna be the big number, so okay. this proficiency bonus and the number right next to it your strength bonus add those two numbers together and add that to your d20 so it's going to be a plus five basically because your yeah. strength your strength is three and then your proficiency bonus is two so plus five okay so plus if five. you need to roll a, a d20 it would be slash roll base okay. d20 plus five plus five plus five d20 and then plus five uh, give me a second. Like that. Without the period in the front. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, no. You, the one needs to be up against the D. Okay. Yeah, sorry, that was my bad. <laughs> Aaron, I think we just need to make him a special attack of door. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of adding a slam attack. I think he needs to forget one of his other attacks to learn slam attack, but, you know, that's what happens when you train these dragon Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You gotta switch the moves up every now and then. Mm -hmm. You slam. You get rid of the acid breath and just get the slam attack. No, actually, actually, if I can't knock it down with my slam attack, acid breath is what's gonna happen next. See, um, you definitely do knock it down, um, and uh, you uh, go ahead, mm, go ahead and make <laughs> me a dexterity saving throw, Lucius. All right. This 
Okay. You smash the door down. It it just slams inward, barely missing uh, this struggling kind of uh, cocoon of cloak uh, that is surrounding uh, your dear, dear friend, Nocturna. Um, and you, with your full momentum, nearly go flying into him. You catch the edge of the door, your claws digging into the wood, splintering it slightly, just stopping yourself just short of uh, body slamming him. And um, Nocturna, at this time, you can go ahead and make a, uh, another strength saving throw to see if you can uh, bust out of the cloak. Why are my rolls nope. terrible? All right, and then make me a constitution saving throw, Nocturna. <coughs> okay. You're not suffocating uh, quite yet enough to take damage, so you're good. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you see uh, this squirming, struggling mass of cloth. Uh, can I do a strength check to drag him out of the closet so we can all, like, try to save him together? You huh? can drag him out of the closet. I okay. mean, I... I it, I, I don't always condone doing that with people. I let them do it in their own time, but I guess this is an emergency situation. No, no, no I hope you're ready. You're, you're getting out of the closet. He is a changeling. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Lily uh, tries to pull the cloak off of him. That'll yeah, I, be I, a strength check for anybody attempting to pull the cloak off of him, or if you want to assist another person, they will have advantage on it. You Thanks, should have advantage, because uh, mine is bad. <laughs> of course, nobody needs advantage, because everybody got the highest roll on the left. So right? Everybody starts Damn. shredding the cloak right and left. <laughs> <laughs> the cloak is just ripped apart as Nocturna <gasps> oh, okay. just busts out of it, uh, gulping down air as you rip pieces of it off his body, the shredded cloak uh, falling to the floor. The uh, animated threads twitching wildly one last time before the enchantment fades. Wolf guy, are you okay? Is the top hat on it? <laughs> yeah, that it is one nice look top hat. Like it. That the top hat rests smugly atop his head. Yeah. I like your hat. That is one great top hat. <laughs> Oh my god. I want to um catch my breath standing up, remove the top hat from myself, hand it to Lucius, and be like, I tip my hat to you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to say at this point. Uh, Lucius just stands there speech and is like, uh, 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 you're welcome? Grayson's just gonna turn around and go back to searching the one drawer we haven't searched. Because <laughs> he's like, whatever. For good measure, can I turn around and cast Radiant Flame in the closet? Go for it! <laughs> Guess fuck this house. Do I need to roll for that? I would. Go ahead and roll for it, just for, just for my sake. I would recommend not doing that. Nah, fuck the closet. <laughs> Does the closet dodge? <laughs> <laughs> no, the closet does not, in fact, dodge. Uh, several of the cloaks go up in holy flame. Thank God. <laughs> Can everybody just, roll and... me a perception check? <laughs> oh, okay. no. Perception check. Uh -huh. Damn it, I'm not great at perception. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh perception, yes. Perception, not so much. I think that's decent. What's my bonus? You know it's bad when I have the higher oh, roll. Wow. Oh wow. <laughs> Fucking wow, guys. Fucking wow. Did I just... We Grayson, know now. We Grayson, noticed nothing. Are, did, did you do uh, your perceptioning? Yes, you did. Never mind. Who's missing? I rolled mine real. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people? Yeah. Fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Dallin, you notice a slight vibration in the floorboards. Fairly perceptible. Nobody else notices a damn thing. Like, like, There's uh... There's the slightest little tremor. Like, enough that if there had been a glass of water, you would have seen, like, little ripples. But like, nothing major. Just a little bit. I stand next to Nocturna, put my arm around him, like, check out these playing cards. You want to play poker later? 
Uh, you may not know this in, like, uh, in real life, but, like, if there was a tremor miles, miles, miles away and your area just barely feels it. Kind of that kind of subtle. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, just I'm gonna look up at Lucius and just be like, just pat him on the shoulder and be like, sure, thank you for saving me. And so, anytime, wow. bud. Anytime. While this is going on, Grayson is uh, going through the other cabinet. And um, you uh, you look through it and it looks like it actually contains uh, a number of swords, short swords, and uh, one rapier. Two short swords and one rapier. Mm. Okay, I get, I get a rapier already, but you know... <laughs> Any, uh, I'll yell to the group. Uh, anyone need any swords? I'll take uh, anything at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Do you not have any weapons on you? Um, Where? I'd rather not say. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Grayson will grab uh, the rapier and hand it to her. And be like, here, this is the most elegant weapon. As he points to his own on his side. <laughs> Thank you very much. I suppose uh, I will take whatever is left over, but I am in, not in dire need of weaponry as is. Um, Lily I believe always wants things. <laughs> uh, he will hand Lily a short sword. <gasps> um, and he will mention to uh, what is what does he know, Pages? Genie. Genie. Uh, Genie. There is a long sword above the fireplace. If you do not want a short sword. Thank you. And I am genie to her. To you, meant... I am Paige. Oh. <laughs> he, 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 meant, he meant this fireplace. The one in the hallway. Wait, what was going on? Sorry. I... We finally <laughs> learned Paige's real name. Oh. <laughs> How did you roll zero for damage? I go up to Paige like, nice to meet <laughs> you, Paige. I am Lucius Draconis the 23rd. Rolling I'm, zero. I got a zero. plus two. How is that a zero? I need to look at your character sheet. I think damage wasn't entered correctly. I already knew your name, but regardless. Who's ever hello. doing Wubba Lubba Dub Love? Please stop. That would be in my background. I'm sorry. My brother's right next to me. Okay. Punch <laughs> him. Please. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's just like, does anyone else hear that? It's just outside. <laughs> just yeah, like, what? punch him directly in the skull. Like, he's cool. It's fine. Um, I was just playing with the sword. Don't mind me. So, wait. What was going on just now? I I was interrupted and did not hear what was going on. Apparently, Wilhelmina is very bad with swords. Hold on. Yeah. And Grayson was kind of uh, saying he, ha he has swords. He has one short sword left if anyone wants it. <laughs> is a short sword uh, I... a simple weapon? I think so. Um, we I must give like... weapons to the child. She must protect herself. She is a child. Yeah, you know, with that kind of thinking, I agree with. <laughs> She's just running around with a sword now. Just let me you know. <laughs> uh, just like when I was a kid. And... Uh... Nope, short sword is martial. Yeah, short sword is martial. Okay, she's running around with a sword not well. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. You're well, welcome. Just like Lucius was, goes to Gallon and is like, seems like we had similar childhoods. What is that? What do you have? <laughs> oh, nice. to be young. Okay. Um, we're a strange family. I don't Grace... really go well with swords personally. Um, Grayson's going to pocket the other short sword if no one takes it. He's actually going to go up to it Lily. It the bottom of your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what I meant. Yes, I did. Uh, he goes over to uh, Lily and goes, I don't think, uh, I think that might be a little too big for you. Uh, we can perhaps find you something else. But I, I like it. And he'll take out uh, his dagger and he'll be like, I'll trade you. Hmm. And she looks over the dagger. Uh, okay, Lucius. I'll try it out. And she trades with you. Okay. Bear this in mind, little one. That blade oh. can pierce things that, that this Sorry. one may not be able to. Hmm. 
Is it magic? Lucius looks at Lily holding that many weapons. A tear comes to his eye as he's so proud of today's youth. <laughs> I'm just going to hang back by the stairs, not touching anything and catching my breath. I do not believe that Agra is magic. However, it is able to reach certain places that this large one could not. This Levers, is going to go back in the study. Okay, so... Um, given that I remember Grayson was talking about something about there's a basement in this house and we haven't seen any entrance here, but I also remember the rough layout of the dining room, not really wanting to go back in there. Um, yeah, you remember roughly what it looked like. Uh, you didn't see any doors there leading off anywhere else except for the two that you know enter it. And then, uh, with... If I were to assume this is a typical house and that the main fireplace is right in front of me, um... You do know that there are several there... fireplaces throughout this house. Yeah, yeah. Right in front of you, by the way, on the wall are the de the carved decorations that Paige invested in. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, are there books? I'm just wondering if no. I would be able to tell that there might be, like, this quote-unquote empty space in the layout of the building. Oh, yeah. Like, if you were to look at metaphorical blueprints. Um, yeah, that's going to be an intelligence check. That is okay. Oh, wait. Paige has because I'm realizing that I, uh, we don't see a way to get to deed. a ba typical basement. Yeah. Paige, I'm sorry? Has the, Paige has the deed to the house. Like, is there anything in it just blueprints or anything to go with it or anything? there are no blueprints on either of the two deeds that you have in your possession yeah, my intelligence is a three so as gallon is staring at the wall lily comes over and stares at the wall too but not sure what they're staring at <laughs> okay. we could always go back upstairs it's possible there's another hidden passage that could lead downwards like a hidden staircase or something no, i was just thinking there might be some sort of hidden door if That's you're a wall, though. But I don't know. I don't see uh, anything. I mean, if your intelligence is three, she said roll an intelligence check, so you gotta roll your die there. He did. I did. It's a three. He oh. rolled it in real life. Oh. I, ro oh. I rolled a natural three. Oh. Are you illiterate under have... certain intelligence? <laughs> so, you don't no, have an no. intelligence I bonus. rolled a natural oh. three, oh. and my intelligence is a ten, so no bonus. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay, I thought you meant like your bonus was a three. <laughs> no, no. He rolled. I, I he thought rolled his intelligence three. was three. I was like, wait. So, um, what? While you are sure there must be a door somewhere to the basement, you can't think of exactly where it might be. Okay. Should we try the front door again? Uh, I think that would be for not. He just picks up the two drinks and then brings it and offers one to Will, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, thank you. I can't trust food or drink in this house. Well, given the fact that this place seems thoroughly explored, I think it's time to head upstairs. Lucius takes one of his words to heart, puts both drinks down here, and then goes back. Agreed. I don't see necessarily an entrance to the basement, which is quite odd, seeing that the letter yeah. mentioned one. And then yeah, I thought there might have been something near the fireplace, but I, I, I don't see anything. Lily's starting to think her suspicion was correct, and the basement is on the top floor. I'm Did sold you on say the that out loud? Passage. Lily's just thinking to herself, I told you it's probably on the top floor. No one listened to me. Lily <laughs> just looks at uh, Grace and to see his response to Lily's comment. <laughs> That's um Lily dear. Top floors are typically attics. Underground oh. floors are basements. Well maybe this house is upside down. That is a good theory. It is haunted after all. <laughs> Alright, you guys hit the second floor. Do you keep going? Yeah. Yeah. To the third. Words and upwards. Alright, hold on one moment for me. So I can die in another closet. Yes. <laughs> Only way to die. Didn't I almost get strangled by the tablecloth too? Oh no, I froze it. 
<laughs> I, I mean, apparently everything just here just has a strength leak fetish for you. I don't fucking know. Um, <laughs> Alright, and move players. There we go. I got you all on level 3. Good. You gotta put your characters here again. It's dark up here. Mm -hmm. Room looks a little crusty. And dusty. And musty. And musty. <laughs> dusty, crusty, musty. <sighs> All right. So. As you start to go up the staircase, um, previously to now, all of... Hold on, stop moving, let me read the description. Um, <laughs> all of all, all of the uh, all of the things in this house have seemed well lived in, well cared for, and um, clean, above all. As you get about halfway up the stairs here, you start to see some changes. First, it's just like a crack in one of the marble stairs. Then it's the carpet with moth holes in it. Then the heavy layer of dust and cobwebs that starts to creep over everything. By the time you make it to the top of the staircase, the house, which has seemed so well and richly cared for, is now decrepit. And the floorboards, which were a rich mahogany in color, are now faded with age and scuffs. There is no light up here, only the darkness of the hallways, lit by Wilhelmina's candelabra as she carries it along, its dim flame extending maybe ten feet before you all. As you reach the top of the landing, you see no other staircase leading upwards. Um, you are currently in a small uh, sort of landing area. There are two doors to your south, um, small regular sized ones, a large set of double doors to the north, and you can just make out the half-opened door of another door across from the large double ones. At the very top of the staircase is a uh, large suit of armor that appears to be corroded in several places. Do we see this thing? Uh, you don't actually. Okay. Sorry. Uh, but you did when you were in the kitchen. Uh, that's a dumb waiter shaft. Mm. It's only big enough to put like some cups and a plate in. Guess Not a lily. And the house doesn't reach this as far. you get there, Lucius, um, you hear a creak and a crack. And one moment, please. Oh, no. Is that the open door? <laughs> Please be the missing children. Please be the missing children. There are no missing children! Does the no, 17 hit you? It, technically, the children uh, are missing. Hold up. Let me look at my armor class. My armor class is uh, 16, so it does hit. Uh, that's going to be four points of bludgeoning damage as oh the uh, armor raises uh, the club in its hand and brings it crashing down across your back, sending you sprawling. And everybody can go ahead and roll initiative. Pick your person first. Yep. And for simplicity, I will actually use my digital. That sucker punched by a suit of armor. Obonga it is. Ouch! I rolled a four on my initiative, getting a six. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't see the initiative tracker. Hold on, one moment. I'm gonna see my name plate either. Uh, what the fuck is the initiative again? I think the holes are just asinine tonight. Uh, here. So. Proper combat, not fighting a dining room table. 
We're just finding a different inanimate object. I is think Lucius a... would disagree that it's very animated right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but is the top hat okay? Wait, am I not in the lit roll order? Hold on one moment for me. Uh, yeah, this working. Yeah. Me, please. Currently or not. Your concern is very important to us. Please hold. Hold on. We're gonna see Wilhelmina, Lily, good. Turna, good. Gallon, good. Grayson, good. Paige, good. That's old Lily. That's old Paige. That's old Wilhelmina. That's old Gallon. That's old Grayson. That's old Nocturna. And that one's old Lucius. Yeah, you did not click yourself into existence. I did not click myself into existence. Yeah, you, you gotta click, click on character. yourself while you roll initiative, so hold on uh, a minute. I'll add you to the turn order. Yeah, if you don't have the little circles above your head, you don't get added to the turn order, even though you click it. Damn it, my bad. It's, it's cool, so you're cool. in it now. Cool. Do, 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 Happens all the time. And I have to roll mine too, so hold on one moment. I'm enjoying the little animated tokens. I love them so much. They're from a free package um, that you get uh, that you get from Roll20. Uh, every month, Roll20 puts out a, a little free package for its uh, pro members. And this was from the Sorceress Sprites package. So it was very nice. Austin, do you get those? Yes, I add them, but sometimes I miss them and I don't get them. Yeah, if you don't log <laughs> uh, in at least once a month to get the tokens, they disappear. You can't get them retroactively. Unfortunately, it's very sad. Okay, let's see here. And there we go. Okie dokie. Lucius, you're up first. You just got sucker punched by some fucking armor. What are you doing about it? I'm going to uh, take out my short sword and try to stab it. Okay, roll and attack. Also, you will have to move forward to do so. You are currently out of range of it. Oh, my bad. Uh, and how the fuck did it hit me? <laughs> he has a 10-foot range. I I'll go here. And then I will... Ooh. Ah. Damn it. Oh, oh that is a no. natural one. Hold on one moment. Let me get oh, no. the crit fail chart. He stabbed himself. Yeah, maybe. I'm going down. I'm gonna have to heal someone again, aren't I? I've only got one heal spell left. I have three hit points left. Yeah, you're going down. Yeah, I'm going down. Wait, aren't you a fighter? Not for much longer. Oh, cool. So we have another one that can prevent people from dying. Not singing more than one verse. Okay, okay, hold on. Copyright. <laughs> oh, she, wait, she said it's a cantrip? Is that legal? Yeah, it's a, Spare the Dying's a cantrip. Oh, you're right. It only stops them from dying, it doesn't actually heal them. Yep. Right. The spell has no effect on undead or constructs. Wait. Damn it! Am I the only one that can heal? Oh like... no! It doesn't have effect on constructs? <laughs> oh no! I can well, know. I'm just gonna have to be careful. It's okay, there's artificers in the party. They can fix you. Oh, oh wait. Is... wait, is there? Yeah. The art of the Warforged is the artificer, that's the joke. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh no, there's, there's other one? artificers too, actually. Oh. Okay, interesting. A yeah. D artificer, smack space. Nope, that's not it. Grayson, I'm going down, particularly in Wilhelmina. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wilhelmina, I always loved you. <laughs> 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 And throughout all this time, I've just had like these shadowy wisps kind of swirling around me since ever, ever since that first combat. Go ahead and uh, roll me a D100. A D100? Yeah, you heard me. Flash get... roll D100. Oh, you can oh. also do it from the tools on the left hand, the little thing that looks like a little D20. Out of 100, I got a 19. That's yeah. okay because it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's high or low. There's a list that she it's has just a looking at the nineteenth percentile century. chance. Mm -hmm. yep. There you are. I found you. Why why when I hover with the little D twenty thing on the left side, why does there why is there one that says fudge? 
19. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see Ugh. here. I'm going to press Go it. Go ahead and roll me a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Interesting. I rolled a I, DF. Yeah, a DF, and we both got a minus throw. one. What the fuck is that? Oh, my goodness. Okay, cool. Roll me a D8. <laughs> oh, my God. That? Which oh just my. gives a thumbs up to Lily and says, Be brave, little one. Oh no. He's gonna like explode. <laughs> Alright. Stab, stabbed himself in the foot. So, Lucius, let's see. I'll start with one, two, three, four. Alright, so, Lucius, you swing forward with all of your might and uh you go past its head uh because you are still kind of goobledy gocked from being um punched in the back by this thing and Sucker your punch. sword goes flying out of your grip and it goes flying hey. in this direction here oh lord and oh, uh lord. Nocturna, Right next to your head, boom, a short sword embeds itself in the wall. Holy fuck! My bad, I'm sorry, Nocturna. Anything else for your turn, Lucius? Uh, I, I, I think I was just gonna end my I... turn before I do more <laughs> damage. I like the little sword drawing. <laughs> we are going to draw on every map. I'm going to hurt you all. Grayson, it's your turn. <laughs> This I is didn't actually... even put that there. <laughs> Grayson <laughs> is functional. Yeah. Uh, I'm joking. Grayson is going to draw his shield and rapier and step forward and attack this lovely thing. All right, go right ahead. A 21 does in fact hit. So you stab forward with your uh, rapier and um, you uh, feel sort of a crunch as it sinks within uh, one of the uh, gaps in the armor itself, which appears to be, now that you're looking at it, free floating with absolutely nothing underneath of it. Um, and it kind of like pings around and damages one of the joints there uh, for five damage. Anything else? Um, that will be it. Excellent. Alrighty, Lily, your turn. I, I shoot a magic rock. Alrighty, so um, you cast magic stone. You touch one to three pebbles and imbue them with magic. So that's a bonus action. So then you are then going to throw the pebble. No slingshot. Slingshot. Okie dokie. You put it in your slingshot and you shoot the pebble. Okie dokie. I did it. It's 15. It's oh, above your right. magic stone oh, thing. Yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Alright, so you... Uh, 15. Unfortunately, that is not a hit. The pebble pings into the wall just uh, beyond the uh, armor that's floating there. And she gonna... Can she stand, like, against the wall here? Yes. Okay, she gonna stand there. You just can't see her head. <laughs> <laughs> She's very short. She's hiding behind the balustrade. Mm. All right, it is now Wilhelmina's turn. Can I throw a flask of oil onto it? From the position you are currently at, no. If you were to move up here, yes. Um, you do have enough movement to go there and throw the flask. All right, I will go here and I will throw the, throw the flask. Okay, um... Go ahead and roll me a d20 plus your dexterity modifier, which for you is 2. So 1d20 plus 2. Can't you just roll dex? Uh, yeah, that'd be fine too. Mm. See if this worked. If no, no, command unrecognized. Um, what was the other option of just clicking on something? Just so click on in, dexterity in your uh, yeah on sheet, the left side, right above uh, the where, two, the where it says yeah. dexterity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Twelve. Um, so you hurl the flask of oil, and it shatters on the ground right here. 
there is now a uh, kind of a, a a puddle of oil right there. Go ahead, my artists. I know you want to do it. Just, just fucking do it. Just do it. Just fucking do it. We just looks on the ground where the oil is, and then at Wilhelmina, and then back to the. Uh, I, I was gonna statue. try to write oil in there. <laughs> Wait, I, I, there we go. Actually, I think I actually have something for this. Hold on. <laughs> this is prettier. <laughs> Let us have our fun. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Don't worry, our DM's not going to try to stifle our creativity. Anything else for your turn, Wilhelmina? No. Okie dokie. Nocturna, you're up. There's a sword vibrating slightly in the wall right next to your skull. <laughs> well, after taking a mental note of needing a new cloak, <laughs> <laughs> I, um, so I know that's probably like a little balcony right where I'm standing, right? Like from the staircase to the, yeah, what's this, happening? Uh, this, this wooden thing that you see right here is uh, literally the thing that keeps you from falling off the balcony. Right, right. So you're can currently I see pressed it? up against the balcony, and you can see over the other side. You can see the stairs below. Oh, okay. So I'm right. I'm up here. Um, yeah, you have your back currently pressed to the balcony. Okay, so I'm just, let me check my spell list. Let me check my spell casting abilities. No, they're uh, not singed anymore. They're gone, <laughs> Lily. They're gone. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like maybe casting Sacred Flame with the oil right there might be a bad idea, but I'm also tempted. <laughs> I mean, the oil I have can't... three hit points. The... That oil is right next to me. The oil cannot <laughs> dexterity saving throw, so it can't stop you. Um, I've there's no one standing in sacred it. Flame. Would Sacred Flame actually light kindling or something on fire? I, I, I put my hands up, not sure to, I'm sorry for the sword almost hit you. <laughs> I am sorry. Let's not do anything rash here. Not sure. Maybe. What do you all tell? I'm gonna... Let's turn it into holy oil, then. Chill Touch works on undead, correct? I'm uh, assuming it's undead, actually. Chill Touch, um, I believe it... Is Chill Touch necrotic or frost? Uh, necrotic. 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 I mean, you can try it and see what happens. I'll stick Unless to sacred you want flame. to roll a religion check to figure out if it works. Oh, uh, God, I should have backed the fuck up. No, I'm not going to target the oil. I'm going to target the thing. The oil's not on the knight, is it? It, it no. is not on it, no. Go ahead and roll uh, the sacred flame for me so I can see what the DC is. Dexterity saving throw. Uh, and uh, he fails. Um, so that's going to be six radiant damage. You see it lick up the sides of the armor itself, which shows no indication that it's in any form of pain, but you do see it warping the metal a bit. Ah, uh, yes. Burn, motherfucker, burn! I'm surprised that all of us are going before this thing. Even yeah, with it, it our rolled bad a four. Initiatives. It rolled a four. Still. Well, I think of it as it attacked us first, and so it has to wait till the like, they, it went first. It did. Trust me, it did. <laughs> In a surprise it was, round. It was banking on that sneak attack. All right, Galen, you're up. Um, I I was left behind on the stairs, so I'm going to go up. 5, 10, 15, 20. Do I have a clear shot from here? Um... If I were to use a ranged weapon... It would be with disadvantage, as there are uh, several people, Wilhelmina and Grayson specifically, who or would be uh, blocking your way. Can I be here? Can I be here? How tall is he? Actually, no. That guy is like ten feet tall. You can easily see him over the top of Wilhelmina and Grayson. Go ahead. With the armor. Yeah, okay. armor's ten feet tall. Uh... He is a giant. If any of you have played uh, Kingdom Hearts, if any of you have played the original Kingdom Hearts and you were like in the Beast's castle and there was those giant suits of armor that swang those giant cudgels, it's basically him. 
I am blanking uh, on what you're talking about. I've played it more than once, and I can't think of what they are. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, that'd be Dark Cloud. Dark Cloud, sorry. Dark Cloud. Guys, sorry. Dark Cloud. I was about to say, like, Kingdom Hearts. I mean, they had some stuff, too, but, uh, no. Like, yeah, I'm they had Heartless and Nobodies that were kind of armor-like. Yeah, no. Dark Cloud had these giant iron statues that were super huge. They also had mimic chests that attacked you. It was nice. I liked it. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll your attack. Alright, so... If I can actually attack here and unabated, then I will do that. Uh, you're down on the steps there, so no, you'll have to step back where you were on the left. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Um, let me see what my bonus is. Bonus. So I pull out my little palm pistol <laughs> and fire with a loud bang with a 22 to hit. That does, in fact, hit. Roll me some damage. Uh, hey, I get to use a different die than a d20. Mina goes yeah. death from the gunshot. <laughs> <laughs> Just about, maybe. Uh, I do a whopping three damage. For her next turn, Wilhelmina turns around and pushes Gallon down the stairs. <laughs> With this very, very loud bang. <laughs> Uh, right yeah, next to her. I said out, push. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. Yeah. So that's three damage, minimum damage. Alrighty, anything else for your turn? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, let me see. Do, 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 do I have any bonus action thingies? I do not. So that'll end my turn. Alrighty. Then it is Paige's turn. What you doing? Oh boy, it sure is. Okay, so <clears throat> um being that Paige also is a construct, and not only that, but as a construct that regularly uh takes apart stuff to augment said construct, uh would Paige be privy to knowing any weaknesses to this thing? Uh, go ahead and let's see what kind of check would this be. Mm. Intelligence? Uh, arcana? Mm, yeah, I'd say this is going to be Arcana, considering it's floating and stuff. Yeah, Arcana. Okay. Um, while oh. you do not specifically know a point upon its body that is going to be, uh, susceptible to your attacks, just because this is a different sort of construct than you are, um, mm -hmm. you do know that given its nature, it is going to be immune to anything with poison, um, with poison damage that would normally like strike it it cannot be poisoned for sure and you know for a fact that it has no mental capacity um so it's not going to be affected by anything of a psychic nature but you don't know what its actual weakness is because it's of a different uh a different make than yourself also if you need were wondering that was three piercing damage i did if that matters cool noted in that case, uh, Paige is going to walk up to the armor and try to grab its weapon and grapple it so it can't swing. Alright, that is going to be a strength check. Contested, of course. Oh, and, uh, alright, so it loses its strength check. You are currently grappling it's a weapon. You've got your two hands on it, and it's got its two hands on it. It's currently grappling with you. Hey, and thank you. I think you just saved my life. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, Paige, uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do, so Paige just uh, grabs this thing's weapon and holds onto it and roots her heels into the floor to the point where the floorboards crack a little bit. And, um, she, yeah, she just, she just stares at it and instructs the others, uh, it can slip on oil, can it? <laughs> Jimmy I would, Whale. 
I would take your strikes while you have this opportunity. Let it not be wasted. I think it's floating, <laughs> Lindsay. <laughs> it's not floating. Uh, oh. Well, its feet are not floating yet. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's arms and things. They're not all, like, connected. Um, it's an, a it's animated armor. Um, so for his, for, for his turn, what he's gonna do is do another, uh, contested strength roll against you to try and break free of your grapple. Um, so go ahead and roll again for me. Oh. Ooh. So that's a, oh, no. that's a Oof. knife. That's a 19 versus 4. So he <laughs> rips himself out of your grasp. And then for his second attack, he's going yeah. to attempt to slam it down on Paige's head since she has gained his attention. Big oof. Does a 24 natural 20 hit? Ooh. Um, oh no. Got it. Hey, no, yeah. just say no. No, no, no. Uh, it's, it's definitely not 16. It's going to be five bludgeoning damage, Paige. It sure will. Eeny! One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, Paige. Paige looks stunned more than anything. Doesn't make really make any noise, but there is this, like, clicking, whirring, and the, the grinding sound as Paige stumbles back with a hand to her head. Okie dokie. Oh. And um, he is going to go ahead and as you stumble back uh, from the force of the take a step forward, Lucius, you can make an attack of opportunity as he does so. Alright, I take out my staff and then I will swing at him. Uh, hold up, I don't have an attack on for my staff. Uh, gonna miss and smack Grayson in the skull. Oh gosh, I hope so. Jesus. Uh, please, 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 please give me this. That would probably Not mean dice, that Lucius uh, would have done more damage to Grayson than this house at that point. Oh, yeah, that would be so cool. Okay, wait, uh, what, how much damage is the staff strike? Hold on one moment. Uh, we'll find I think out. D6 uh, or D8, depending on if it's one or two hands. It's, it's oh, cool. you got no, it. Hold on, hold on. I got, I got, I got, I got this. I got this, Lucius. Where are you at? Character sheet. You don't have your staff on it yet. Hold on, just a sec. I think there's an easy way to do this stuff. Yeah, it's in my item thing. I just just not in my attack. Yeah, thing. you uh. Uh, I tried making one, but. Yeah, it's actually a, a quarter D staff. It's a quarter staff. Okay. So. Yeah, let me say, let me delete do a D6 or a D8 if you're wielding it two-handed. If you're wielding it two-handed, it's a D8, uh, yeah. I'll, after uh, having it, like, swing out of my hands, I'm going to do... Uh, <laughs> He's going to hold on to it with both hands. I'm going to hold on tight after the last one and almost decapitated uh, Nocturna. <laughs> Does it hit? No, actually, it does not. It slams down in the ground just as it steps out of your reach. Uh, you would have done good damage, too, if it would have. It sure would have. Yeah. Including the attack of opportunity? That That is the attack of opportunity. But now, uh, guess what? It's your turn. Alright. Ah, uh, God. I almost got hit harder than I thought, because now we're really terribly. Alright, I'm going to try that again. <laughs> Alright, so you take a step forward, and you actually get to nice. attack. You actually get to attack with advantage, because uh, you are flanking currently. And that right. does hit. That does indeed hit. And uh, that's 10 bludgeoning damage. You see a sizable dent uh put into this thing's armor as your staff strikes it and there's a just a a, a bong that echoes throughout the building and somewhere in a different plane of existence a tiny little yellow bird looks up into the sky <laughs> King King? <laughs> <laughs> bong, bong. <laughs> Anything else for your turn, Lucius? These are the special <laughs> victim units. Bong bong. <laughs> no, Lucius just ends his turn with his staff raised. You're like, I'm proficient with many weapons, not just that sword. Lily <laughs> uh, decides that she would like to learn this instead of acid breath. 
breath. <laughs> All right, Grayson, you're up. Uh, he will move closer and he will attack as well. Okay, with advantage, go right here. You're basically boxing him in. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> It's not a natural one, at least. It's not a Imagine natural one, at least. Imagine if we split up earlier and someone came up here. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be dead. Um... Anywho, uh, your, uh, your rapier um, slips past it, uh, unfortunately, as it shifts its arm to prepare for another... Oh, sorry. Ooh. Shifts its arm to prepare for another attack, and it glances off, uh, not dealing any kind of damage. Lily, you're up. And I try to hit him with my slingshot again or is he too covered he is 10 feet tall so yes he's over even your lovely uh sword friend so you'd be able to attack him without disadvantage uh but that is an eight so that does not hit question though yes if if he's surrounded though by everybody that no. that doesn't mean anything to Only me because for i'm not surrounded them yeah, not okay. only for the people in melee, unless you have a feat that allows you to do so. Um, uh, she do she not. yells, stop wiggling! I want to hit you with my rock! <laughs> it's a good rock! <laughs> it's a magic Amina. rock! Well, Amina's up now. It's very shiny. It's magical. Crap and a bolt whizzes by um, Grayson's ear and embeds itself in the wall next to Paige. Okay. See, he's wiggly. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else for your turn, Wilhelmina? I'm good. Nocturna, you're up. Uh, I'm gonna just move away from the uh, sword in the wall real quick. It's a good, it's a good uh, choice. Can you grab that for me? <laughs> uh, well, actually, can I grab it while I move? So it's embedded in there. Go ahead and roll a strength check to see if you can pull it from the wall. Oh boy. Strength isn't my worst stat. But it may <laughs> oh, no. oh wait, no, that was a save. That was a save, not a okay. check. Oh, how do I? Oh, my, I clicked Try the wrong again. thing. I apologize. Okay, so you yank on it. It barely budges an inch. And you go, nope. <laughs> well, it's okay. Fine. Thank you for trying. <laughs> gonna leave it there, move closer to Wilhelmina, and then can I cast, or did that use my action when I tried to yank it? I'll say that was a bonus action. You just kind of reached behind you as you were stepping away and tried to pull it with you. It didn't work out. You left it there. Uh, go ahead. I will try chill touch on the uh, armor. Okay, go ahead and roll that for me. A 22 does indeed hit. Nice. You reach out, an icy hand forms gliding across the divide. It, um, excuse me, pardon me, it's way between Lucius and Grayson <laughs> to uh, gently, uh, with two fingers, caress the side of the armor's helm. Uh, you see frost uh, en engulfing the uh, skull of this thing, creeping spider web like across its form. What the fuck are you doing? Oh! <laughs> It looks like it's got a sweat drop now. <laughs> um, and and you see the armor where it touched become a bit brittle. Um, and you see flakes of corrosive rust uh, just peeling away. There's pitted portions of it. The armor, um, it, it's a little bit more erratic in its motions now. Um, it's, it's not looking too well off. It's not down yet, but it's definitely uh, was in better shape before you got here. That's for damn certain. Alrighty, next up we've got Gallon. What you doing? Uh, it's still standing. Still standing. Yeah. Um, can it is quote unquote a... looking a little bit rough. Uh, if I were to roll a like a uh, check of some sort, would I know it to be? Um, I think mine, ha like, have a mind of sorts. Um, that's gonna be an arcana check. Okay, would that take up any of my actions? No. Okay, cool. Wanted to make sure of that. Uh, so, plus two to my arcana. Yeah, this is just you trying to figure something out really quick on the fly. So. Fourteen. Fourteen, you say? Yep. 
doesn't act like it has a mind. That doesn't... Looks like it's reacting more than anything else. Maybe we shouldn't have robbed the house. <laughs> it's got a really elaborate security system. <laughs> Based off of that, I'd probably assume that, that wouldn't affect it. So if I were to make, uh, I'll use a bonus action that I should have used last turn to reload my weapon. Okay. And uh, fire again. Okay, go right ahead. All right. Uh, that is an 18 to hit. 14 Just on die. barely hits. Roll that damage. Damage is going to be uh, four points of damage this time. We're we're increasing. All right, you see the bullet impact, uh, blowing a small hole inside the armor's uh, back, and then uh, the three there can hear it. Ting 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 ting. Ricochet out. A bird ruffles her feathers and sneezes somewhere on another plane. And anything else for your turn? Uh, no, I'm going to stay right there. All right, Paige, you're up. You're backed into a corner. This thing seems focused on you for the moment. Yeah. Uh, is using a potion an action or a bonus? Um, if you are in possession of the potion and using it on yourself, it's a bonus action. If you have to pour it into uh, somebody else's mouth, that's a full action. Okay, uh, Paige is going to take one of the potions that she got earlier and pour it on the top of her head to fix the fleshy outer layer thing, covering thing. Hopefully that helps. Alrighty, and um, you find out that it is a regular potion of healing. Hold on one moment, Ooh. let me add it to your inventory because you've got three of them. Oh yeah, I forgot to do that, my bad. You got two more anyway. Yeah. Like you don't have to worry, Nocturna. We got potions. I was just getting worried because I only have one healing spell left. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we will always need more. <laughs> always and forever. As Lucius stands there clinging to life as he's clinging to his quarter He'll staff. Be fine, he's got thick scales. I mean, geez. Imagine Wimp. Wimp. Wow. <laughs> Paige only has two HP, okay? <laughs> Lucius Wait. has done more damage to Grayson than this house has. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I've dropped the potion of healing into your... Uh... The sword didn't even come close to killing you. It came close to killing Nocturna. <laughs> so, I'm fine. Uh... Wait, uh... So let's see, this is a regular one, so it's gonna be 2d4 plus 2. Okay. Nice! Jesus. Good! That's you more get my entire health pool! <laughs> and you just go, it, her, 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 her fuel meter just goes, bing! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, as she pours it on top of her head, this, like, just the red liquid stands out against her hair. But, uh, she suddenly seems to just straighten up a bit. And, uh, once again, um, it looks like she's gonna grab the thing, but instead her arms, seg her segmented arms kind of click, 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 and extend and turn into what best can be described as, uh, Spears, <laughs> and she's gonna a uh, two-handed spear attack his left arm, trying to disable him from swinging. Okie dokie, you go ahead and roll that attack. Oh, oof! Oh, there's been roll three me a D one hundred. Oh no! Jeez, what is happening? Roll me a D one hundred. That's what you get for getting max healing on yourself, I guess. Okay, let's see. I guess! Go ahead and roll me a dexterity saving throw. Okay. 
Well, at least it's been the low numbers, which are relatively tame. You just manage. So when the oil smashed on the stairs, um, little, most of it was in that one pile. But some of it, you know, how, how, how things just fly somewhere. You manage to, as you're about to stab with your spear arms, um, and you step forward to do so, step on the one little speck of oil that happened to splash over here. And your foot just slips out from under you, but um, you you right yourself because you've got a very good very good balance. You you, you you were built to teach Evangeline how to dance and things like that, so you just like whoop whoop. But you do miss your opportunity to make an attack. Cool, awesome, and my turn. <laughs> Alrighty, so now it's the armor's turn. And he is going to go ahead and roll a d3 to see which of these fools attacking him he's going to focus on. Well, looks like it's going to still be Paige. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, it, she just got healed. Does a 12 hit Paige? Actually, no. Cool. Uh, so his first attack swings wide as you duck and curve out of his uh out out of his range the um the hammer that he's carrying impacting with the door that's behind you and cracking it uh and when he yanks it back out it leaves a bit of a hole and then he brings the hammer down again does a 19 hit <laughs> uh so it, 19 mm -hmm. uh yes that one does and that's going to be three bludgeoning damage as he catches you in your shoulder as you try to dart away again. One, two, three, up. And then you see Paige recoil and, and tries to duck, but it gets clipped on the shoulder and just, ugh, and then falls back into the door. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Lucius, it's your turn. All right. Oh, wait. We made a, we made a terrible mistake. We made a terrible mistake, actually. Darn, darn, you were flanking. Darn. You were flanking. You had advantage oh. on that attack. Oh. We're gonna retcon. Paige stepped on the oil. She was about to slip. And then she used the momentum of the slip to shove that spear arm straight up through its chest and out the other side. The tip of it barely missing Lucius's face uh, before she retracts it. Um, she doesn't chop his arm off, but she leaves a gaping hole in this thing's chest, which shows that there is nothing inside of this armor whatsoever. Um, dealing seven damage. This thing is looking extremely rough now. Delightful. Okay, cool. And then those well, other attacks happen. I a handful of times. <laughs> um, and Lucius, you do have advantage, much like uh, Paige did on these attacks. All right, quarterstaff. Do not fail me. Two hands. It failed me. You are so lucky you <laughs> had advantage. <laughs> advantage. Oh, oh, ah! This is a... <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Okay. Everybody roll, learned this lesson. Roll 20 is to evil. avoid to avoid fallback from natural ones, just make sure you're always flanking. <laughs> <laughs> then the only oh, thing that can do me was two natural ones in a row. Um <laughs> So that's twenty, that hits. Uh Lucius, please describe to me how you use this wooden staff to murder this metal floating man. So I, 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 I'm just going to like, I, I'm going to yell power pole extend as I bash his head in <laughs> with, with my uh, quarter staff. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I approve. I approve. There's a bong, 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 bong ringing out throughout the entire building as you proceed to beat this uh, armor into nothing but scrap metal. Uh, it, it keeps trying to get back up again. Certain pieces will float up. Uh, a gauntleted hand reaching for your neck at one point before you swat it out of the air and down to the ground. And it is nothing but twitching iron beneath you before slowly ceasing its movement. And that's what you get for sucker punching me. And you are now out of combat. It was using a mace, yes? It 
was using a very large hammer. Okay. Yep. Can't hold that. Um, I will take one of my short swords off my belt and hand it to Lucius and be like, I think you need more than one of these. <laughs> and, uh, can I check out that bludgeoning hammer? Uh, go for I'm it. Gonna take it. I'm going to take it and be like, you know what? I think you're right. <laughs> So I'm going to add that to my inventory, and then I'm going to uh, try to yank his, my sword from the wall. Uh, you're the quintessential murder hobos. Let me just see. Is this the one? Nope. That's not the one. Do I need to do a strength check? Hold on one moment. You got it, you got it. Nope, oh, that's not it. Mm, that might be it. Let's see. Mm, maybe not that one. Maybe it's the light one? No, that's only a D4. Okay, that's weird. Okie dokie, we're gonna call it that. So, uh, who's picking up the hammer again? I think it was Galen? No, not Nocturna. Galen. Nocturna. Nocturna. Okay, Nocturna, you pick up the uh, hammer. Uh, it is quite large, um, about half of your, the size of your body, if we're gonna be honest here. Um, but it is... Uh, and I'll just drop it into your sheet. I guess that's a two-handed weapon. Uh-huh. Just I'm a regular like... old warhammer. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, you, you can't go I... wrong. Like, it... I'm like twice your size. That'd be a two-handed weapon for me. It, it can be used... <laughs> it can be used one-handed. It's versatile, just like the staff is. But it'll do less damage. Right, right. I should... Probably add that to my wait. Oh, it's automatically added to the attack list. Beautiful. I did it. Yeah, I, I did it manually for you. There you go. It's good. Thank you. Man, I'm heavily armed. <laughs> Too bad if somebody sneezes on you, you're gonna die. <laughs> I mean, that's just how it goes at level one. Yep. All right. And uh, Lucius, you're trying to pull your uh, sword free. Yeah. Go ahead. Let's and see if we get like the a strength fifth. check. Fifth or sixth net one of the night. Oh, man, if he gets a nat one, I'm making him lose his grip and tumble over the balcony. No question. Oh, good. Instead okay. of pulling, he tries to push. You <laughs> plant your feet and you give it a sharp yank, and there's a cracking sound. Uh, the short sword slips free, and um, you also see that part of the wall slips free to reveal a passageway on the other side. Oh, hell yeah. Talk which about probably, dumb luck. Which probably has something to do with the hole that Paige made in the door, so she's gonna open the door. Oh, no, wait. No, it's not connected. <gasps> Ooh. Aha. Uh -huh. I... It looked connected. Looks like this door led to, like, from here. Well, to here. there is a door directly across from him in this passage. So oh, there's stairs. a door here, there's mm -hmm. a door here, and is it, the doors behind him as there well. Are there, are two, it? there are two doors where Paige and is And a at. door here. Oh, okay, yeah. over here. And okay. then there are two doors to the here. north, and Lucius just revealed a secret door by virtue of yanking his short sword free. Um, by virtue of dumb luck. And there is also know. another door across from him in this passage he has revealed. Oh, okay, I did not realize that. Isn't there one door that's halfway open already? Yes, that was this, this door is over here, yeah. That one was halfway open already. <laughs> Alright, well... I do take this time to reload my weapon. So that is okay. just stated. Now, which Does, door uh, Which door is Paige opening? The one with the hole in it. The one with the hole in it, okay. Uh, uh, Lucius is gonna, like, investigate the secret passage that he discovered. <laughs> Does anyone need healing? How's the state of everyone after that scuffle? I need healing. I'm good. 
<laughs> so Good. I am mildly injured, but nothing to quarrel over at this time. Same, but that was from our last fight, so we can probably have our our large sword throwing friend get the healing first. So you open the store to reveal a, a bedroom. There are cobwebs covering its ceilings, uh, which are sloping um, uh, from floor to ceiling. There is a large uh, mirror directly to your left as you start to walk into that. Uh, sorry, directly to your right if we're looking at the screen right now. Paige, but Paige is left as she's walking in. Um, yep was directly there um incidentally which coincides with the door that lucius is looking directly at um from the other side and there's also a door over here um that is shut and a set of double doors with stained glass windows over here huh. there's also well, we're gonna go around the oil to come over here Okay, and hold on one moment, uh, Paige. As Lucius is looking in here, he said he wanted to investigate it. He sees a set of stairs that seem to lead upward to a small landing, which is right here. And then he can sort of make out the curve of another staircase also leading upward from that landing. Oh, fancy. Guys, I think I just found the way to the attic. <gasps> is it, or maybe it's to the basement. Uh, Grayson would be like, let's check out this floor to make sure, you know, nothing follows us up those stairs. Mm-hmm. Good, good idea. Because, right, cool. you know, um, like... Go on. What if, I was like, what if that, you know, suit of armor followed us up those stairs? We probably would have been worse off. I was speaking of which, I should delete that by now. Um, I'm just going to roll the cast on Lucius. That's okay. Uh, you're doing what on Lucius? Hold on. Just healing him. Okay, go ahead and expand your Finishing spell him off. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, so you get four healing. You. you say, good Thanks, job, buddy, and you get four <laughs> healing. <laughs> All right, now I'm at seven hit points. Yeah. Woo! More Thanks than me. Enough. And Paige is percepting into the room. Give me one moment to go to that room. I'll Alrighty. be right back. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What are we percepting? Good. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm. I'm behind people. I can't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. So, um,. There is a set of uh, doors over here that you saw made of stained glass. Um, peering out them, you can make out what looks like a, uh, a small balcony um, over there in that area. Uh, very pretty. And um, you don't see anything that stands out right away as you're prospecting the room. If you wanted to uh, look a little bit closer, though, you'd need to roll an investigation check. Okay, Paige will investigate, uh, basically looking for anything that seems to be of note or specific interest. Okie dokie. Doesn't matter. <laughs> nope, uh, so as you're investigating, uh, the cobwebs are kind of getting tangled in your gangly limbs and you spend a lot of time digging them out of the crevices of your arms to keep them functional. Grayson is going to go over to what appears to be a dresser and investigate. Okay, go ahead and roll investigation. Oh, Jesus, Grayson. <laughs> Get the splinter. <laughs> yeah, you reach into the drawer and you feel a sharp, biting pain and you yank your hand back. And uh, it looks like you've accidentally nicked your finger on something sharp. Peering into the drawer further, you see what looks like a shattered hand mirror. <laughs> I'll help. And and she gonna wipe his finger off and and <laughs> tie, I don't know something around it. <laughs> Whatever tie cobwebs she around it. Tie some cobwebs around it. <laughs> um, I don't <laughs> the tissue off of the the the, the in from the tissue box that's probably been there for eight hundred years. Then. <laughs> Thanks. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I apologize. Can I look around where I'm at, still in the hallway and all? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and roll investigation for me. Well, he just walks over to the suit of armor and spits on it. <laughs> Acid spit? He ignites the oil. No. <laughs> Uh, the walls are intimately carved uh, with beautiful woodland creatures. Um, you feel that if uh, Lucius hadn't pierced the wall with his sword, you might not have noticed where the secret door was with a nine. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, good job almost killing Nocturna. <laughs> okay. All according to plan. To be right, fair, is, you did discover a hidden passage. Is Galen doing anything? See, I, that's a good attitude, Doctor. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Um, Galen will go up to this door and open it. All right. As soon as you put your hand on that door, there's a soft sopping noise directly behind you, Grayson. Hello. And uh, you turn to see. Damn it. I don't like this. What could possibly go wrong? No, not that one. No, not that one. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'll take that one. A floating woman uh, cupping her hands over her eyes and crying softly. Um, she bobs there in the air and as she lowers her hands uh, from her features you see a rotting gap-toothed mouth. Uh, her beautiful uh, visage twisting into something old, dead, and definitely not friendly. As she lets out a screech of sheer rage. Stay for my baby! And um, she's going to lunge directly across the room to Galen and perform an attack. Oof. What did you say? Your mic cut out when you screamed. Sorry, it was very high pitched, I know. Stay away from my baby. Oh, crap. Oof. Do we need a reroll initiative? You will in a minute. Hold on one moment for me, though. Yeah, Galen, turn on the charm and try to talk her down peacefully. <laughs> Hello, what darling. What do you do? Do a dance with her. Waltz! Waltz! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That Ooh. don't sound good. Yeah, does a 20 hit? Sorry, I forgot to make them private. Um, yeah, they do. Yeah, that 20 hits me. I think a 20 hits any of us. Yeah, 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 I want to let you know right now before I, uh, before I roll damage on this that, um, just so, just so you are aware, just so you are aware, this one was in the book. This is not some fun thing that I added. This one was in the book. I told you, I'm not going to be door. upset if you kill me, but Life Train scares me. Okay, the, um... I, the, name, the attack name Life Train scares please, me. Uh, please make a constitution saving throw. I think I'm actually proficient in those. Wait, when you said in the book, does that mean you got the book? Um, so this is the Curse of Strad book. Unfortunately, I did not receive the physical copy that you sent me of the uh, of, of, of the other book, the Van Richten's. I do have a digital copy of my own, but um, I did not receive the Van Richten one yet because uh, my mailbox said that they need me to go there to pick it up, and I haven't been able to hit the uh, hit the post office because of work related things. AKA, I get out at five thirty, and they close at six. Um, I don't think I pass. 
I rolled a six with a plus five, so eleven. All right. Um. So, uh, it is a. It it, it is a DC ten. Lucky for oh, you. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Um. So so the good news is that you're only unconscious. Um, because you take 10 necrotic damage. Oh, wait, I can roll my uh, charisma save. Do it. Because I can use Strength of the Grave as up to... Until I succeed on it. Okay, go ahead, roll it. And, um... You said 10 damage? Uh-huh. Is... So the, say, the DC is going to be 15 then. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Come on, don't fail this time because fuck this shit. No way. Oh, yes. Uh, natural 19. Um, 24. Okay. Woo. And that means you have one hit point left with Strength of the Grave? Question mark? Uh, yes, I have one hit point left. Okie dokie. So you see this creature lash out, necrotic energy swirling around its ethereal digits as it digs into ga... ga uh, Gallon's chest and for a moment there it looks like it's dragging some form of essence from him Ooh. and he, he pales for just a moment and and then he shakes out of it um, j just barely uh, dropping to his knees and collapsing for but a moment before drawing in a sharp shuddering breath and scrambling up again and now you may all roll initiative Click on your character first. Thank you. Uh, you might want to clear the character turn order right now. Um, no, it should just show up as your new initiative. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, oh wow. For whatever reason. That's why I mentioned that, because I knew it doesn't for me. And it's there good for me. all of the good rolls for the rest of the round. Probably. I was like, yeah, it did for me. Yeah, it was probably it did because we had, uh, well. did we had to add somebody. It did for Nocturna. Um, Grace. Did we have did to add Grayson. you manually the first time? Uh, uh, Lucius was added oh, okay. manually. Um, no, Wilhelmina, uh, you must, uh, uh, you must not it. have yeah, been uh, clicking game. on yourself when you when you rolled. Okay, let me try again. No, it's cool. I already adjusted you. Cool. Thank you. We are ready to fight. Give me one second. Oh, I'm yeah, rolling yeah, right doubles. now. Make sure you click yeah, on yourself no, when you do. Just... Good, you did. Kill this fucking bitch! <laughs> Better do it fast. Um, uh, Grayson, you're up. Um, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, this is lovely. Uh, uh this is your thing, dude! Mm hmm. Yeah, can I roll some sort of, I don't know, knowledge check or something yes. to see if I know anything about this? Yes. All right. So this is going to be, um, let's see, I would say, which is better for you, religion or survival? Religion. Go ahead and roll a religion check with advantage, given your background. Good. No. This is a specter. You know for a fact that a specter, when they uh, attack things and manage to hit, if the uh, target of their affections does not manage to resist it, they are drained of all life and made a withered husk almost immediately at their touch. AKA, um, the target must succeed in a DC 10 constitution saving throw or its hit point maximum is reduced by an amount equal to the damage taken. The target dies if this effect reduces its hit point maximum to zero. So, Galen, uh, you're real lucky you passed that DC. Wait, can mm -hmm. you repeat that? I did not hear all that. Basically, if you had not passed the DC, your hit point maximum, aka the maximum amount of hit points your character had, would have reduced by 10. You oh, only got fuck. nine hit points. Oh, fuck. So, in Grayson's terms, that bitch suck life. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, 
Also, you yeah. know that it is uh, immune to uh, necrotic damage, poison damage. It's resistant to acid damage, cold damage, fire damage, lightning damage, thunder damage, bludgeoning damage, piercing damage, and slashing damage from non-magical attacks. Delightful. Page is useless. <laughs> and it is susceptible have... to damage from radiant attacks. I got my uh, guys I protect have me. Two things <laughs> I can do. Um, one of them is only once. <laughs> Grace Wait, so is... you know which, which ones again? Just gonna uh, say uh, anything non magical is resistant to. <laughs> Grace is gonna be like, hey guys, uh, run, and then step outside <laughs> onto the balcony <laughs> if he can. <laughs> uh, yeah, you oh, open oh, the door sure. and you step onto the balcony. Cool, and he will, uh, yeah, shut the door behind him. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna help, sure. <laughs> you shut the door. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's the end of Grayson's turn. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of Grayson. Um, anywho, uh, you step out onto the balcony, and as you do so, uh, you see that the world outside is nothing but a swirling white sheet of that fog um, that had covered everything since you've got here. The whirling mist around you. Go ahead and roll a perception check. No. Oh, goodness. It's alright. Everything's fine. It's just a mist, right? Nothing wrong here. Wilhelmina, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. I would like to throw because I'm throwing stuff. You do like to throw. <laughs> a flask of holy water at it. Alright. Chuck that flask of holy water. That's going to be another dexterity roll. Okay. <sighs> What's it, Steve? Nice. Uh, Alright, so the holy water and somebody can else can draw the pool splashes to the ground just short of it. I... G good luck. <laughs> we need to get you a slingshot. <laughs> I, so, we need to practice pitching <laughs> with Wilhelmina. Like, I, I, I start poking her bicep and I'm like... <laughs> I guess this one was closer. I mean, is it a creature? Uh, you, it's a ghost you. of some kind. You're not. Uh, if you want to roll uh, either religion or survival to see if you know what it is, you can. Uh, yeah, right. Gr Grayson totally shared like like. Uh, it's immune to everything. It's a ghost. Bye. <laughs> All you said was run, and you stepped outside yeah. the door. <laughs> Bye. Oh, guys. oh, that's my uh, favorite drawing. You've yet. seen you've seen <laughs> one of those before, Wilhelmina. Uh, you, you've seen one of those before. That's a specter. Last time you saw one of those, uh, one of your Vistani brethren had the unfortunate, uh, unfortunate uh, decision to, while drunk, uh, dance on something's grave, and it came up. It grabbed him by the neck, and you watched as it drained the life from his body, sucking it out in a matter of seconds. Oh, was he diagnosed with the dead? Yeah, sure. He was down with the sickness. Mm. <laughs> uh, I... Dead man. Yeah. Dead man. That's all I got. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, it's the specter's turn. Um, it hey. is, let's see, it, it is quite furious that you, uh, resisted its attack. I, I don't like know to how... some flavor, maybe like shadow, like shadows just from my normal shadow on the ground, like lashed up and broke her grasp off of whatever she had on me. Yeah. Um, so, mm -hmm. so it's, a. Uh... It, it also just saw Wilhelmina throw holy water at it, though, so I'm going to roll a d2. Mm. I wish I could have acted before the it. That would have been good, wouldn't it? All right. Ah, uh, Wilhelmina. Uh, you see this this woman who was formerly focused on Galen wrench her head and look straight at you and begin to float in your... God damn it, holy water. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, in your nothing direction. happens as she floats above the holy water. No, I seriously, mean, right? Okay. It's <laughs> awesome. Uh, that was too good. And you do have an attack of opportunity on her page and gallon as she floats towards Wilhelmina. Uh, oh, can spells be cast as a yeah, attack of uh, If they are melee spells, yes. Uh, this one is a saving throw spell. Uh, is it a melee touch spell? Do I have anything no. that can hurt this creature? Then no. Um... I know I sure don't, but... That, that is a good reaction, Wilhelmina. Very good. Um, but let's, uh, let's wait and see if, if it actually hits you before you cast yep. that. That's a reaction. Because um, um, it might say, it might not that. hit you. And hey, maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe Gallon will hit it with something that makes it stop. <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs, drink that brandy and wait for this to blow over. <laughs> <laughs> we all in the Winchester. Respect, respect. <laughs> uh, that's a range attack. All, I'm almost all my shit is ranged. Would I be able to, like, uh, pull a knife out with my free hand and try to attack it? Yes. Or but does it, it only magical attacks or, hurt it? Is it resistant or immune yeah, but to... Yeah, we don't know that. Uh, well, you, you don't you know, know that. Grayson said run and bounced. Uh, yeah, he didn't tell damn anybody <laughs> what he knows. Nope, yeah. Just ran. <laughs> God damn it. Um, so, so there's nothing that makes you So believe... much for... So much for... Fucking monster hunter. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Grayson, you don't have any magic? Uh, go ahead and go ahead and roll your stabby boy and see what happens. Hey, I got a seven on my dagger. I swipe and totally miss. Yeah, you definitely missed. It passed right through her. Uh, Paige, your turn. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, Not a magical dagger, though, but she tries. Yeah, it's, I mean, every little bit helps. She's going to take two damage um, as she floats towards Wilhelmina and does indeed make an attack. Let's see. Does a 14 hit you, Wilhelmina? I have no idea. Let's no, find out. Armor class. Kitty. Armor class, armor class. It'll be right next Wilhelmina. to initiative. She's got a pretty good armor class, if I remember oh, right. It does not hit. You do, yeah, you do not need to use your reaction because it does not hit you. Okay. And fortunately, the specter does not have a multi-attack, so... Yes. <laughs> After it kills us and levels up. <laughs> Paige, it's your turn. It sure is. Uh, seeing what it did to Ga the Galen, um, yeah, uh, Paige is going to take precautionary measures, i.e. she's going to first cast a Sanctuary on Lily, because she's not about to watch a child keel over by being touched by this thing. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, that would be... Sanctuary! Sanctuary! Yes. So, Sanctuary on Lily. And then right after that, as a bonus action, she's gonna pull out her other... One of, one of the other potions of healing and roll it across the floor to Lily. And... With the instruction, uh... Use this on who needs it most, and remain safe. Wouldn't that be the person next to you? <laughs> yeah, probably. Anywho, in my turn. Okie doke, no movement? Uh... Yeah, I guess she'll walk over here and kind of get in front of Galen. And see if she can, like... Uh, maybe goad it into attacking her instead. I don't know. Okie dokie. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, just so you know, Wilhelmina, uh, you can't cast Prestidigitation yet as it is not your turn, okay? Yep, 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 yep. Okie doke. Alright, Lily, you're up. Lily is gonna like go, well, Hunter Man ran outside. The, the, the ghost lady went out the door that I came in. Um, so she gonna run over here. She gonna get her magic rocks. And she gonna try to magic rock the lady. And then, 
once she done magic rocking the lady, she gonna go outside with Hunter Man. Um, mm -hmm. but she gonna try magic rock, and she also will 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 give Galen a magic rock and say, "Here, you can throw this at her." I'll give him two of them because I can make three, so I'll give him two. Let me. And then I peace out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I will pocket two magic rocks. Is there a duration on those? Uh, uh, until I cast it again, or an hour or something? Give me a second, let me look. One minute. So a 17 does hit, Seven. and it does the full amount of damage because it's a magic rock. Finally hit something. Mm hmm And full amount of damage. Woo! What did it hit for? Out of my ear. I hit it for six. Oh, okay. Six magic bludgeoning damage, and then I go outside and go, Hi! <laughs> it's Misty out here. That's usually not a good thing. No, I think coming outside was a mistake. <laughs> well, it's kind of not good inside either at the moment. Would I have heard uh, Grayson's response? Uh, yes. <laughs> no fucking shit, Sherlock! <laughs> Grayson's response. What's a Sherlock? <laughs> It's a man that lives in the town that I lived in. <laughs> okay, had a thank you. A boyfriend named Watson. <laughs> that lived on Baker Street. Drury Lane. <laughs> Make all the wrong connections. <laughs> all right, it is now Nocturna's turn. I uh, can I move to the other side of the oil by chance? Um, the oil behind Wilhelmina. Yes, wait, hold on, let me check my spell thing to see if this... This is the oil. It, in theory, if I were to move there, could I still cast from behind her? Um, depends on what you're trying to cast. Are you using uh, her as a human shield? Maybe. No, 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 no. I have a Sacred plan. Plane, as long as you can see the thing, you can Right, cast. so my, my plan is to move behind the oil to cast Sacred Flame, because if it aggroes to me, I want to <laughs> cast it on the oil to ignite it so that... I have like a holy oil barrier in front of me, but well, you could cast sacred flame and then move to where the oil is. Actually, yes, that's <laughs> better thinking. Sorry, I'm tired. I'll do that. You can also move, cast, move as well, based off what I'm reading. All right, that's a dexterity saving throw. Fail it, fail it, fail it, fail it. Nope, we pass. Fuck you. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's funny. Uh, no, I won't say it. Never mind. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, you cast Sacred Flame. Its head jerks in your direction oh, as fuck. the flames lick uh, just short of it. Blazing, lich fire eyes boring into your own. Yeah. And then you move behind the oil? Yes. Yep. All right. I assume you go around it and not through it. I would not like it on my boots. No, that you got plenty of other weird things going on there with your cloak and all. You don't need that. Gallon, it's your turn. How you <laughs> feeling, buddy? Not fucking great. I am going to fuck off all the way down here. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. And yell out. Uh, yell out to both uh, Lucius and Wilhelmina. Step back from that bitch and hold an action. Okie dokie. You do that. Lucius, your turn. So I still don't know that the only thing that can hurt is magic, right? Yep. But Nobody I just said... yelled step away, like make some space. You did yell that. Whether or not he chooses to heed you is completely up to him. And I move, like, over here? 
You can. You will take an attack of opportunity from the specter, though. Unless you wish to disengage and only move and do nothing else. Nah, I, I, I'll... Uh, I'll take the attack of opportunity from the specter. Okie dokie. Sure oh no, I just healed you. So does a 22 hit? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Fuck. Never mind. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. It's too late now. Make a cost. You saw what that throw. bitch did to me, didn't you? Uh. I mean, the door was wide open, so I'm gonna say yeah. Nocturna <laughs> <laughs> comes in. Get spinning. away from him, you bitch. No. <laughs> He was oh, fitting on no. the oh, he was fitting no. on the armor. He wasn't paying attention. Um, oh, Wilhelmina, that's not gonna do any good anymore. <laughs> so <laughs> <I> no. <know>. What's, <laughs> <your laughs> <max H>, <laughs> what's your max HP? What's your max HP, Lucius? My max HP is uh -huh. twelve. Oh. Oh, you were so fucking lucky. You were so <laughs> fucking lucky. Okay, so your max HP is now one by the way, um, because you take 11 necrotic damage <laughs> as she uh, grasps you, dragging you to her and sucks the life out of you for 11 necrotic damage. Right now, your max <laughs> HP, the max that you can be healed to, and the max you currently have is one as All you right. stumble away to what? fall against the banister. Oh. Is that Still permanent? Uh, I mean... Gotta find that until, out. Until like huh? she dies. Until like she dies. I guess oh, you gotta find that out. Ha! Huh. Anything uh, else for your turn, Lucius? You still have your action. You've only used your movement. Heavy crossbow. Okay. Oh wait, you're still conscious? Yeah, he has twelve health. He took eleven damage. Oh, so it doesn't actually do damage. Well, he had twelve health. He now... now I have one. <laughs> oh, okay. Eleven does not hit. I'm afraid. Oh, fuck. I'm so mad right now. Lucius, why? <sighs> uh, I'm trying to help the only way I know how. And as the tank <laughs> of the party, case. that means... As the tank of the party, that means sometimes uh, taking some hits for the party. Grayson. When the tank becomes your glass cannon. <laughs> Grayson, it's your turn. Oh my god. <laughs> You can see that I'm getting ready to cast a spell if that helps. I'm holding an action. I think he doesn't know. Are you muted, Grayson? Oh, sorry. Um, I got a. I had a phone call. Um, maybe he saying. feels so inclined to share with the class this time. <laughs> he don't know what happened up there. He couldn't see it from where he's at. Yeah, I, I can't. I don't the only know thing he inside. can see is that uh, Gallon is leaning back against a wall, looking fucked, and he's trying to cast a spell of some kind. Prepare to cast, waiting for Will oh. to also move. He's poised. Um, Grayson is uh oh crap. Um. <laughs> Ashamed that a little girl is fighting and he's not? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Monster Hunter here. <laughs> Monster Big cool Hunter. badass Monster Hunter. Watching the seven year old <laughs> child just uh, throwing rocks at the thing that he ran away from. God, that <laughs> Don't you feel damage. good? Don't you feel uh, good? I guess it has resistances and not necessarily. Immunities. I mean, it to does have thing. immunities, but not to yeah. everything. It's immune to necrotic yeah. and poison, and you know that. <laughs> he'll step back in and uh, he'll shoot his heavy crossbow at it. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. There you Please go, roll bud. a natural one. You actually okay. hit. Um, let's see. Woo! Half damage is going to be seven. Six. Six seven. Okay, cool. Half is rounded up. Awesome. I Good usually point. round up. Yep. And he's gonna go, you idiots! I said run! <laughs> For two of us, that would probably meant death, dumbass. And Mina's like, I've been saying this the whole time! <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Speaking of, hey, Wilhelmina, it's your turn. What you fucking doing? I'm now, mixing up. Yeah, just so you know, you don't have to disengage because it's already used its attack of opportunity on Lucius, so you can move and also use an action. 
<laughs> See, this is what tanks do. They take damage to benefit the rest of the party. No, I'm doing puff of smoke and ditching to the right away from the lady. Okay, um, um, roll me a... Okay, you just jumped off the balcony anyway. <laughs> roll, 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 me a, roll me a stealth check. Uh -huh. Poof. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love this. <laughs> okay, I I'm using a spell slot here. I'm taking my action that I held. Okay, a 12. I'll keep that in mind. Um, you you want to get somewhere to hide from her? I would recommend behind this balustrade. You can make it there, and you will not be in her vision. She hides behind Lucius's <laughs> dissected corpse. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I would recommend right here. You'll be outside of her vision with the 12. And your puff of smoke there. Okay, okay this is a big roll. Do I use digital dice or keep going with the die I had? Oh. Whatever you think is going to do better. <laughs> I, mm, I mean, I feel like I want to see the numbers pop up on the screen. Uh, it's, up to you. it's up to you. It's up to you. Um. Okay. Uh, I'll. Okay. So now that uh, Lu uh, Wilhelmina and Lucius backed off, uh, Gallant, oh gosh, I'm fucking nervous. <laughs> uh, Gallant has his hands and like shadowy wisps be uh, circling around him as he draws his hands apart. Uh, pale blue knife forms out of nothing and he shoots it forth casting ice knife at this thing oh Ooh. shit ice knife 19 to hit that does hit dealing 10 piercing damage and then i need a dex save saving throw Please fail a deck save. Oh, not only do we fail, it's a natural one. So that damage is done. Please describe the death of this specter. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, thank God. So as I pull out the knife from thin air made of this cold uh, light blue and just not even touching the ice, just hurling it from the magical energies around me, going zooming straight past page impales her right in the chest and then explodes in a, a snowy cloud around, surrounding her all right so the ice knife flies forward impales her um in her chest as she turns to look at the shouting gentleman and you see it sink within her ethereal form and she looks very surprised that this is physically inside of her and, and staying there. And she looks down at it as ice begins to spread up and over her chest and body, freezing um, her spectral form as she reaches out to grasp the knife, tugging at it urgently as the uh, ice spreads until she is a frozen, floating, statuesque form of a specter, her mouth open wide in a wail of terror and rage before she just simply explodes into the beautiful, gentle, blizzardy dust. And what you have a quip for us, Galen? <sighs> that is what you fucking get for <laughs> trying to steal other men's hearts. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end it for the evening. Wait, wait, wait. Real fast, real fast. Does my HP go back to normal? No. <laughs> It does my, not. Max H, my max HP is going to be one from now on. Your ax, max HP is currently one. Um, I guess you'll have to figure that out next episode, whether or not you can find a way to fix that problem, huh? Damn, I thought you'd go back to normal if the bitch died. So that nope. that attack essentially did 17 damage? Um, no, that attack did uh, 24, 24. damage. 24. She rolled okay. a natural one on her dexterity saving throw. Okay, so I couldn't I remember if there was damage. resistance to the cold or not. She, resistance from non magical sources. This is well, a I meant the cold. Source. The cold. Yeah, resistance from non magical cold. 
That's weird, but okay. Yeah, she basically Not is resistant to Not complaining. Yeah, she's resistant to all non-magical attacks, basically. So uh, ah. this is a magical attack that you did. Awesome. Thank God for that natural one on the deck save. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you guys for watching tonight. Everybody out there, thanks for sticking with us to the 1130 hour. We super appreciate your support out there. Um, and we hope to see you in uh, two weeks' time uh, where we'll be playing uh, a Halloween session. Woo! Um, and uh, extra spooky, uh, I hope, uh, to make it. Um, but anyway, yeah, we enjoyed having you here tonight. We hope you had fun. Uh, we hope you liked what you saw and that you come back later. Um, please join me this Friday for our usual Dungeons Also Maybe Dragons, or sorry, Dragons Also Maybe Dungeons session, um, where you will see uh, a couple of the people who have been playing today, namely the players of Paige and Lily reprise their roles as uh, Nyx and Sives. Um, it's the end of the month, so it would be the, the second to be crew. Uh, no, it is actually not the end of the month this Friday. Uh, that's next Friday. Next Friday, that's right. 29th, yeah. Um, so it will not be B-Crew this, this Friday. It'll be regular, regular. Uh, regular I, Dragons I, Also I, Movie Dungeons. I am not entirely sure if we are going to be having a Wednesday session of... Uh, Dungeons and Dinosaurs um, that is up to the lovely DM Kaleth uh, when she knows what she's doing um, then uh, we may be here Wednesday or I may just be hanging out on Wednesday making more maps to torture these guys with you know it's a toss up situation oh. um, from all of us here at Barovian Nights um, the Slasher Squad would like to say good night and good fright Nighty night! Woo! Night! Good fright. Night! Good night.